Let me see from my side. Looks like it's fine from my side. It's coming right away. I don't know. So, guys, do you see any Muslim have a comment? How the Quran says we made everything, every living thing from water, and let the Quran claim that the the mountain, the earth, the sky, and everything in the sky, Allah He invited them to trust Him. And not only that, He says that they were they were smart, they did not trust Allah. It, the, it was the man who trust him and he wasn't ignorant. Do you see it? Indeed, we presented the trust to the heaven and the earth and the mountains, but they refuse it. How they can refuse it? Do they have a brain? What do you mean the mountains they refuse the trust of Allah? Any Muslim can explain? <clears throat> Hello? If only what is created from water is a living thing. Allah talking about he offered them the, the moon and the sun and the earth and the mountains the trust how you can offer them the trust do we have any Muslim would like to call and here the Quran confirm that the one who accepted the trust of Allah it was the man and he was a fool You see, <clears throat> you trust Allah, you are a fool. Read carefully. I'm not the one saying that. <coughs> Hello. Yeah, peace and blessings, man. This is Brother Saeed. I've been hearing your uh, your comments, man. I would like to address the Muslim. All right, my friend. Your go representative. Ahead. Go ahead. Um, what what was that verse that you were reading, sir? We are reading in the Quran, chapter 33, verse number 72. Okay, 33, 73. 72. <laughs> 72, okay. Okay, so reading from the English to the, uh, from the Arabic to the English, truly we did offer the trust to the heavens and the earth and the mountains, but they declined to bear it and were afraid of it. However, man bore it. Verily, he was unjust to himself and ignorant. Now, what is your question, sir? My question, if everything living thing is from water, Allah is offering the sky and the earth and the mountains a trust and they refuse. How they refuse? Are they, they refuse. Yeah, how, they, how, how, the, how the mountain refuse? <clears throat> well, the Lord says it right here. How? The Lord, the mountain can... offered it to them. Yeah, but how you are, are you talking to who? To the rocks? Well, the Lord is is addressing this the question that you're asking. You know, the Lord is saying we offered the trust mm. to the mountains. So the Lord is indeed talking mm. to the mountains. Okay, and, the, know, and the, the mountain heavens. they talk back. They say no. We don't accept. Well, this is because of the responsibility, as the Lord says in the verse. Yeah, but this so means the, the mountains, they have a brain, and they, they knew what is responsible and what is not, right? Indeed. Okay. Do you really believe that the mountains are, are living creatures, and they have a brain? And they yeah, absolutely. Really? Absolutely, I believe. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, when you look at the, uh, the reality of um, birds and the way that they function and the way that they uh, operate in terms of waking up the rooster crocs uh, how, the, how, the the birds, how, how the birds function well the way birds function uh, according to the birds in, in my in my area you know um every morning around five your time they start chirping you see around the and friday uh, around the friday they try to start doing what around five hour the five hour is oh, okay. the time that okay. muslims pray mm -hmm. And, and so around this particular time, they always <laughs> chirp, right? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about a design that Allah created mm -hmm. these birds to function on. So when the Lord is saying, I offered the heavens and the earth to take the responsibility of this trust, you know, we, we realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave it these functions to decide. And it reclined or it, it, it uh, declined the offering, you see? 
Um, in which language? Of, in which language Allah He offered them the offering? In what language? Yeah. Well, according to the Quran, uh, before my calling you, you read it in the Arabic. So you know, just translating it into the English. So, it wasn't, so look, so look like those mountains they speak Arabic. The language that Allah was speaking to the mountains. He was speaking when Allah Arabic. created uh -huh. creation. No, like when he when he offered them those things, he he spoke to them in which language? In which well, language? Gotta, in which language well, they respond? Well, you gotta understand, <clears throat> um, <throat> uh, brother, that this revelation called the Quran was sent down to mm. Muhammad mm. in the Arabic language. So we're understanding a story. Mm. So according to the story that we're getting this revelation, we're getting it in the language that Muhammad spoke. Mm. So you see, in terms of the language that Allah spoke to the yeah. mountains and the heavens and all of these things, mm. according to what we got from this Quran, we just know that Allah is the creator of speech. Allah is the creator of language. Yeah, but how, so, but, but how, how the, how the mountain they speak? I mean, you see, the, do the mountain have a tongue? Well, obviously not now at this particular time. So what happened? They, lo they lost their tongue by time. What happened? Well, just by looking at what they did, they declined the offer. So by declining the offer, the Lord took away some of the things that will ah, be required to take. So the when He created them, they used to have a tongue, and then by time, uh, Allah He cut their tongue because they declined the offer. So when Allah he uh, offered them that, what does that mean? He offered them Islam and they refused to accept Islam? Negative. Uh, what Allah offered was the trust. The trust mm -hmm. that uh, the whole purpose um, mm -hmm. of man on earth is to be a caliph, a ruler. Mm -hmm. You see, to have dominion over everything in creation. So the Lord offered this responsibility, but in knowing the duties of being a ruler, they declined this offer. You see, mm -hmm. and this is why the man today is at uh, a folly. He's at a, you know, um, uh, uh, as the Lord says, he is unjust to himself because he's mm. forgotten how heavy this duty is, you see. Mm. And so now today, uh, the man is in a frenzy trying to understand uh, the geopolitics of governing people, <laughs> you see. Mm. So you see, the, uh, even the angels, mm -hmm. when the Lord had created creation, mm -hmm. uh, told the angels, I will create a caliph or representative mm. and the angels had questioned god think mm. about the angels questioning the most high will you create something that will cause corruption the mm. lord said i know what you know not because the responsibility of being a ruler mm. is not easy as mm. you see the man is unjust so when the lord offered that to the heavens mm. and they they, they uh, declined it was this mm. knowledge this information about what it means to be a ruler that they were not ready to take I hope okay. that it can answer your question, question, my friend. You just mentioned the story of Adam and the angels. Allah, He said, "I will create a caliph." What caliph mean? Well, caliph, according to my understanding, <clears throat> means a representative, a vice general, a successor, or successor uh, of who? There's people living in the earth before. Well, the Lord before the Lord even created Adam, there was a according to the hadith mm. that I that I can remember mm. before the Lord even created Muhammad mm. or the mm. first man, mm. life was already in, 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 it was already functioning. It was already life here. All right. So, so in uh, terms of who the ruler was, who was, heavens, who was down on earth? Was a man or was an angel? Well, Allah was the one keeping it, maintaining it, governing it. Okay. Uh, let, let, let us focus on that story. The angels, they said to Allah that uh, uh, Adam would do mischievement, right? Indeed. Right. Okay. Yes. And uh, Allah, he told them, I know what you know not, correct? Correct. Okay, which means he is confirming that they are wrong about right. the claim of Adam. But isn't it Adam who commits sin later and Allah kicked him out anyway and they were right? Well, the, 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 well, I'm, in, terms of, in terms of the storyline, yeah, you're absolutely correct. The storyline is correct. I'm not okay. going to deny that. Okay, so how, how Allah saying to them you are wrong when they are right? Well, in terms of the uh, the uh, the uh, like so when you're looking at a story mm. and you know the the beginning the middle and the end of a story mm. but the person who you're telling this uh uh you're 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 a director of a movie and you're telling uh, uh, uh someone that you trust hey I got this idea about a movie and they and they and they're trying to <coughs> understand the end of the movie how the movie is going to end but they're not the director they're not the actual creators of the movie mm. so they're giving me their own opinion about how the movie would turn out but they're not even the one directing it so the angels were trying to think ahead of Allah 
mm-hmm. but Allah knew the end game. So you see, yes, indeed, the story started off with Adam sinning. Mm-hmm. However, the end game is not what they thought. And that's why the Lord knows what they know no, not. But Allah, but Allah told them, you know not about what? About him being a sinner. Well, about about the about the reality where Adam, the Adam and the children of Adam, the end game, you see? Yeah. It's about, this but, is a story. Okay, but but uh, Allah, sir. he said to them, he wanted to prove to them they are wrong, right? About what? Yeah. The, the angel, they would make, make one accusation that this person, he would do mischief, correct? Indeed. Okay. Was the was the angels right? Yes, Allah was wrong. How Allah said well, to them, I know what you know not, and he wanna prove to them that they do not know nothing, and then to prove that story, he started teaching Adam all the names, and then he told the angels, Well, okay, if you know what uh, if you know better than me, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> recite the names of those things I taught to Adam, and he placed the things in the front of Adam, and he told them. Okay, tell me the names of those things. They said, Allah, we, we know not what you know, we know only what you told us. So here, so you Allah, see they testified, they testified to exactly what okay, they Okay, but the know, story right? here is not smart, my friend, because if I, if let us, let us say to you, I have a cat, her name, I, I call her Susu. And I say to you, my friend, do you know the name of my cat? You say no. Is that a proof that I am God because I, I don't know the name of my cat? I am the one who gave the name for my cat. Allah, he named the things. To Adam, he taught him the names, and then he brought all the things in the front of the angels, and he said to the angels, "Give me the names of those things." The angels they said, "We give up. We do not know." How Allah He is proving to the angels that He knew what they knew not. If He is the one who gave the names, I mean, this is the most silly argument ever. Imagine, well, imagine, imagine. You call well, the- you call your son, uh, let us say Ahmed or Muhammad, and I see you in the street. We shake hands. You say, do you know my son's name? I say, no. He said, okay, I'll prove to you that I'm God. My son's name is Ahmad, but you are the one who gave him the name. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I hear I hear what your, your point, sir, but um, the reality is when you're the one, when you're the beholder of information and you only teach a certain amount of information to a creation, then, mm-hmm. you know, it's just, it's just, for example, teenagers, you know, teenagers, they think they know everything. They have this you know, uh, this 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 obvious arrogance about themselves, where they think that they don't have to, you know, listen to the guidance of their elders anymore because of this information that they think they have. And then when something happens to them, then they realize, oh wow, I actually don't know so much. So the reality is, the angels they they thought they knew everything because of what Allah had fun- put in them in terms of information. Friend, then when the Adam, angels, hold on, let me let me let me just get this. Mm. I mean so so then when Adam was created and when Adam was taught the names of everything, mm. the Lord then presented the angels in front of Adam and then questioned the angels. About so what? now it's a battle it's the a battle of information. What? Question, a, question well, about what the name the well the well the names, the names you okay. see in so terms of what, the information. What kind, what kind of a smart exam that is exam to prove that I am the one who know and you do not know what about Allah he do the opposite what if Allah, he says to them, okay, I will give you those things, give them names as you wish. And then ask me what the names of those things, and then I will tell you that it will be a miracle. But I am the one who named the things, and then I say to you, I know the name of those things, this is the most silly argument ever. Are you getting my point? If he want to prove to them that he knew what they knew not, he knew the unseen, he should do the opposite. He should give them, any, he said, okay, you know what? Name anything you want around you. Do anything you want. Do something, some tricks, hide and seek. Do things I did not suppose to see behind my back. And then ask me what we did, and I will tell you. That will prove that he is God. But look what happened. He brought a zucchini, a cucumber, uh, 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 a chair, a table, uh, a cook, uh, 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 a, a couch, and he started naming them. Okay, Adam, this is a couch. This is zucchini. This is a cucumber. Uh, this is a grape. Uh, this is a Coca-Cola. This is Pepsi-Cola. This is 7-Up. Okay, angels, come here. Give me the names of those things. And the angel's like, what is that, man? We do not know. This is how Allah, he proved that he is all knowledgeable? Absolutely. I mean, what you got to understand, they questioned, the fact that they even questioned Allah <laughs> was, was the, was, that was the wrong. Absolutely. Doing. The question of Allah's, uh, <laughs> in, in, you know, infinite intelligence was Good the wrong. Good morning, everybody. If, and, and, and let's just go to the reality of the angels. The angels were not created with free will. So the, the amount of things that they can do, like you had gave a scenario, just, 
go ahead and do what you want to do. Name anything. Like just that, just imagining that, just putting that in perspective, it's impossible for an angel because they're not created with free will. So they're they're, they're limited to what they can actually my friend, do. So, my friend, so my friend, 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 hold on. You are what saying, you want to do, what you, what you, you, you want to do, on, you wanna do is you want to take the, uh, the, 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 the narrative, mm. you want to take the narrative and, 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 you know, ridicule the narrative. But the reality is you are not a law. I am not a law. And I did not create the story. The story okay, has friend, been created. Okay. And we just are you saying must... to me, are you saying to me that because you don't have a free will, because you don't have a free will, you cannot give a name to something? Is that the duty of an angel? No, no, no. This is not about angels, about anything. Free will. You said because angels have no free will, right? Yeah. Okay. No. So, can Allah give them a free will for one second and say, okay, go and name those things? Can't he? But but did he do that? Okay. What, what here the story proved nothing to us. The, I don't want to say a word. It sounds like I'm insulting you. We are discussing a topic. I hope you will not be offended. But this is very silly to say, I am going to give names to things and you have no free will. To know those two things because you just told me they have no free will so how he's asking them what is the names if they if he knew already that they have no free will to know and they have no free will to name them they have no free will to know them they have no free will to think they have no free, free will to do anything because you just said they are like just, just like toys he's controlling them and they have no free will so what is this debate is about it, the the point of me and you debating that you are free to answer the way you want i am free to to answer you the way i want if Allah is debating with angels who have no free will, this is a joke, because the answer well, is the answer is not right. the answer this is not made by them. The answer is made by Allah. Well, see, that goes right back to the question initially. Why this is the reason why the the heavens? This is the reason why in, in chapter three, three, verse number seventy-two. This is exactly the reason why the heavens and the earth did not take that trust, because the responsibility of of having the ability to say yay or nay. Okay, I will, is, I will, I will, I will go with you. Backlash. Do a human being have a free will? Do human beings have a free will? Human beings, yes, they have a free will. That's false, my friend. Do you want to prove it to you? Well, according to the Quran, we have free will. Where it says, according to the Quran, you have a free will. Okay. Okay, so we go to if we go to chapter seven, mm. verse number twenty-three. The Lord says, "They said, O Lord, we've wronged our souls. If you forgive us not and bestow not upon us your mercy, mm. we shall certainly be of the losers." Mm. So this is this is we're just going to stay on topic with Adam and Eve, right? Mm. The fact that they're calling out to God, asking for a second chance mm. to make up something that they did. All right, necessitates the will that is free. Okay, do you understand this verse better than your prophet? You asked me to show you in the Quran free yes, will. Yes, my friend, I'm asking you now. So I'm just, do you so I'm just showing you. Because you are giving me your interpretation, which is wrong. Do you understand this verse more than your prophet? Like I said, you no, told no, me to I, give I, you an my example. Friend, my friend, my friend, no, you did not give me an example. I, I'm, I'm just saying to you, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Hold on! Hold on! Are you sure that this verse? Why calling out to God for forgiveness, my friend? My friend. Because they okay. did something. This is what right? they say. This is what they say. But is it true? No. This is what the Quran just said. I just no, read the, the Quran. Verse. No, the Quran says they, we. They say. They say. You know how to read, my friend. The Quran says, "Qala Rabbuna zalamna anfusana." They said, "Our Lord, we wrong ourselves." They say. Okay, they said, okay, you know who, now, so do, who are they? okay, do you understand this verse better than your prophet? Yes or no? So who, do you who are they? The, uh, Adam and Eve, do you understand? Okay. That, do you so, understand? So they did something, right? My friend, they, they did you, something. Do you they did, they did no something, right? problem, no problem. Do you understand? Come on, man. Come on, don't, don't, my don't, my friend, don't, my friend. Don't, don't, okay, don't, okay, what's wrong with you? What's wrong don't, with you? Do you, under, do you understand the Quran better than your prophet? Yes or no? Hey, look, man, that's a whole different topic now. You see, you know, a whole whole look like, ah, you see, look like reality, you do not. And you, are you, are you saying, Adam are you saying you don't agree with your prophet? Right are, you saying, are you saying, are you saying, are you saying you don't agree with your prophet? Are you saying that your prophet is a foolish man? He do not know and he don't understand the Quran, but you know better. Are you saying that? 
what I'm saying is your question was answered. My about friend, no, will. you are not. Adam you are Adam not. This is not about the free will. This is not about free will. This is not about the free will. This is what they say. Allah is the one who is fooling them. Allah, he deceived them. Allah, he deceived them. Allah, he made them commit sin. And I can prove it right now. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Allah made them commit sin. This is why you are you, you are not accepting the challenge. I am saying to you, what if I show you your prophet explaining this verse and proving you wrong? What you will do? Show me then. Okay, no problem. Here we go. Thank you. Finally, he said, show me. I like it. This is Sahih al-Bukhari in front of me, and this is Sahih. All the hadith in the front of me is Sahih. Read with me carefully. The prophet said, Adam and Moses argued with each other. Moses said to Adam, O oh Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. Then Adam said to him, O oh Moses, Allah forced you, favored you with his talk, talk to you directly between two brackets. And he wrote between two brackets the Torah for you with his own, own hand. Do you blame me for an action which Allah has written for my, in my fate 40 years before my creation? So Adam, Muhammad continues saying, so Adam confuted Moses, Adam confuted Moses three times. Go ahead. Your prophet, he ad admit that Adam was a victim of a plan of Allah to commit sin. You cannot blame Adam for the sin he Adam he did, for this is was the plan of Allah, and Adam have no free will. Okay, so um you're you're acknowledging the fact that he still was redeemed. This, see, is not, he, this, this, he, this is he, not he, our topic. Don't, don't he, change the topic. He, he, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You say you say it. Okay. But this is not about okay. redeem. This is about don't change the topic. This is about the free will. You say that the human being have a free will. He don't. He does. No, I, he was the story we're talking about is about Adam and Eve, correct? And here we go. Your prophet himself is saying that Adam was the winner in this debate. Why he was the winner? Because you cannot blame Adam for the sin he did, for this is written for him 40 years. It was the qadr of Allah for him. It is not his choice. So how you say to me that the angels have no free will, but the human being have a free will, when as you see, Adam's sin, it was nothing but a deception of Allah. Allah is the one who fooled them. Allah, he made them do the sin. You're a prophet, he said, if my nation, if you people don't commit sin and ask Allah for forgiveness, Allah will destroy you and bring people better than you who sin and ask for forgiveness. So your God, Allah, have a game. He like people to sin so he can make them ask, please, Allah, forgive us. This is the this is the game. As you see here, Allah is Allah is, is using you, is playing with you. He made you do sin. He forced you to do sin. And then he asked you to ask for forgiveness so he feel like he is God. You have a self-esteem issue. Well... <laughs> I see, I see, I see how you, I see how you, uh, you know, facilitating your, your What facilitating? This, this is in front of you, it's in the front of you. Why Allah, he made Adam sin, you tell me. It's in the front of you, why he made him sin, give me a reason. Adam was a good person. Allah did describe him. Allah forced I'll tell you, him to commit I'll sin. I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. Why? I'll tell you why. why. Tell me why. Because everything is now revolving around the same verse that you had brought in the beginning about the Lord entrusting a responsibility to the heavens and the earth. Mm. The Lord <clears throat> wanted to create a color. So the Lord wants a color. This is what the Lord wants. And the Lord will get what the Lord wants. The Lord wants a color. So the Lord is trying to find the right victim. You mm. see? The right so victim, the guys. Did you, did, you hear? did you hear the right the victim? Lord, <laughs> Lord. Allah trying to find the hey. right victim. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, well it's still but you know what it still does it still establishes the my friend i like you. I, I would, I would like you day. to call me always what's your name by the way what's your name it's still hold on i'm gonna tell you all that i'm gonna tell you what, all what's that your name if you don't mind if you don't mind what's your name what's your name what's your name please what's your name my name is saeed saeed okay saeed listen you just say that allah he have to choose the right victim right indeed you admitted that your god is the devil because why why he cannot fulfill his plan to create a caliphate for the earth without finding a victim can't he make adam a caliphate for the earth without fooling him and making him do sin what is the point well, well there's a there's a hadith kutsi where the prophet said 
that when the Lord decided, the Lord wanted to be known. So in order to be known, the Lord created creation. And through creation, the Lord made himself oh, known. Look at this. So, us to be known. <laughs> exactly. My, funny, so now, my, my friend, my friend, so let, on, let, me, on, let me ask, let me ask, let me ask. I understand, I understand okay. that you have your own position against Islam, but you know, in terms of the respectability of one man's faith and another man's faith, we must give each other the ability to express one and defend one's faith. Mm. Don't you agree to that? I agree, and you just did. You, okay. just, you are the one who said so, that. So uh, now, so you, now, you are so the now one who said about, Allah, Allah, he, so, he chose so a victim, on. and the victim is us. Hold on. So let me tell you how this whole thing is going. Mm. So the Lord wanted to be known and created a creation. Mm. There are 99 attributes that <coughs> represent Allah. Mm. So in order for us to know the names of God, mm -hmm. we have the to Lord deceive must us. create creation. So you have to deceive so us. In how order can to you know, know that, that the Lord, how can you know that the Lord is good? Mm. And how can you know that the Lord is wrathful? Mm. You must create a what is good? What is good about create, God? What is good about on, God? Wait, hold on, hold on. See, what now, is what good? Doing, now what you're doing is when you when you want to explain yourself, then I then I then I give you the floor. But when no, I my friend, my friend. Myself, no, I want to hold you with your words before you forget because about them. You, you just say it. You, you just said Allah. He wanted to be known. Control, hold on. Right. You just yeah, said that you Allah. He wanted to be known. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You are, you are afraid from what you just said. You are afraid from what you just said. You just say that Allah wanted to be known. Hold on. Hold on. You see, guys. This guy he is afraid. He's terrified. Let me speak. He has a fright. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. You say that Allah, he wanted to be known and he chose a victim. And now because he is good God, he chose a victim to make him commit sin. How, no, that's how, what you say. You I'm are the one who say, myself. aren't you the that's one who said the word? Aren't you the one who's, okay. Like the, okay, hold on, snake. hold on. You got aren't you the, the one, aren't you the one who says, aren't you the, you aren't to the one who said the word victim or me? I am the one who said victim, Adam is a victim, or it is you who said Adam was a victim of Allah. But I'm going to use my words and i'm going to put it in its proper context you can't take my words out of context you said you want to but you said narrative. adam is a victim adam is a victim of who adam, so now, so adam now, is a victim so now, of who so now i gotta represent my so, my faith guys properly. listen to this listen i'm listen not gonna allow you to, to this, speak this to gentleman my this gentleman he just said he, he just said that deceit. allah he chose an adam as a man to be a victim in order for him to be known what kind of a god he made me a victim of his a crime and all the excuse is he want to be known Okay, I'm going to go right now and find the woman in the street and I will rape her and I will rape second woman and I will rape the third woman and I will rape seven women and then after that I will be to CNN. Everybody talk about the rapist. I mean, what kind of God is God? Just because you want to be known, thinking of himself only, not thinking about the poor man who caused him to sin, who play with him, he forced him into sin, he caused a destiny for him, he have nothing to do with it, and now everybody is saying Adam is the one who did the sin, Adam is the one who disobeyed God. Adam is the one, etc. But the fact it was not Adam, it was Allah playing Adam. Adam is a victim, as our guest here he said. Go ahead, we're listening. Again, <clears throat> the Lord said in the the Lord, uh, the Prophet said, said in the Hadith Qudsi that when the Lord decided to create creation, the Lord decided to be known. So created a creation and made and made himself known through creation. Mm -hmm. So now the Lord is known by 99 attributes. The Lord is mercy the lord is compassionate the lord is powerful the lord, uh wrathful the lord is many, many names deceiver right what see now the, see now see now, see now what you're doing is impute imputing things for okay. the, let for me the, let me show the, you the let me show you that islam have no job let me ask you let me ask you so now you're being a comedian the, the, the comedian asking, the comedian is the comedian my friend the comedian is your god the comedian is your god who created a man he, you, he created a man. Like hold on, hold on. Right the the on, comedian. Like, hold like on. We cannot, don't even have the ability. We cannot talk in the same man speak. Let us see so who has the ability or not. What you're doing is you showing me <laughs> your own inability to be civil. You're not even. See? Good morning, everybody. And this is a Christian Prince with you. You notice the second the Muslims, he go inside the canned food container. He go mad and he don't stop talking. And look, like we have we have a guy here. His name is Omar. How are you, Omar? Omar, he keep calling me names, but he cannot answer anything we say. A Christian prince, can you show your face? You idiot! Your your God Himself is behind the curtain. I am your God. Do you want me to show you your prophet saying that? Christian prince, why you are hiding behind the curtain? Ask that to your God, Allah. You idiot. What's wrong with you?
Show respect to your God. Obey me. Otherwise, I will make you a victim like Adam, just to be known. I like to be known. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be known what I can do. No TV is putting me on, no CNN, no Fox News. So I found Adam and I I want to be known. I cannot resist that. <laughs> Here we go. It's like a pregnant woman in the living room. Listen, guys. You Allah, see, Allah, he wanted to be can, known. Be Allah, civil, Allah, sir, Allah, you, you are not a civil, you are a Muslim. You are, a, you are not a civil, you are a Muslim. You call me monkey, you call me donkey, you, you call me you, you call me a word to preacher. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are not disciplined too because you don't worship God. If you are disciplined, you will not worship this fake God. How God he created Adam just to are abuse him. So how God, how God, how you how time. dare you, how dare you to say to me that God created a man just to play with him, to abuse him, to use him, just to be known. What kind of what kind of God? What kind of God? God, he do that to his victim. Adam is a good person according to Islam. You see, ev ev everybody is listening. Know how to have every everybody, everybody will leave Islam because man. of you. Now, my friend, let me ask you a question. Simple so question. Islam is let, winning. Let right me now, sure, sure. Islam is winning. Absolutely, Islam is winning, <laughs> guys. Islam is winning. Islam is winning because <laughs> he admit, he, he admit, is. he admit that because Allah, Allah, he used Adam and abused him, and Adam is a victim. Islam is winning. Listen, let me ask you a simple question before you run. If a I'm child, if, if, if a child, if a child, okay, playing. if a child, if you are, you okay, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're, you're a prophet, you're a prophet. Hold on, you talk too much, you talk too much. Yeah, let's see, this is why Adam fell. You talk too much, you talk too much. The reason why Adam fell is because the Lord had to show man the reality of good and evil. You see, let us see the good and evil. Yeah, the the man, the man who have sex with a six, the man who have sex with six years old girl is the one who will teach us good and evil. Listen, so listen, 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 sin, Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. So he can understand Abdul. that God is both good. Are you going to speak? Are you, are you going to talk God forever? Is a are you going to talk so forever? Are you Muslims going to talk forever? You notice that this is a situation of every Muslim when he is in the pressure cook. <laughs> Remind me of Tom and Jerry, you know. Like what? Hold on. This is a good God. A good God. He made Adam as a victim to play with him. And he is the one who will teach me how to be good. And he make me make sin, do sin. And then he punished me for the sin who he made me do. I mean, how stupid this religion is. Oh boy. I want to convert to Islam. Islam is the best. And forget about the rest. Are you going to talk forever? Course, the balance so that we will not be too <laughs> evil and <laughs> not too good. <laughs> Sorry, I have to mute him. <laughs> it's like a radio station. <laughs> he said, and oh, by the way, he's talking, he's still talking. He said, he is the one, he said, guys, is my voice coming? Is my voice coming to you? He said, he is the one who said, Adam, Allah is a choosing a victim. Allah is a choosing a victim. What kind of God this God is? A choosing a victim for what? To be known. Allah wanted to be known. I mean, come on. Allah wanted to be famous. What's wrong with you? Allah want to be just in people. He want to be like Sylvester Stallone. He wanted to be famous. Everybody, has, his name is a magazine except Allah. So Allah, he came with the plan. I will get a guy. His name is Adam. And I will make Adam sin. And then I will say to Adam, ask me for forgiveness because you are a person who disobey me. Allah, please forgive me, please. And the poor Adam, he is asking for forgiveness because he have no free will. And now this guy is saying to us that his God is a God. What kind of God this God is? What kind of, what kind of God this God is? Now let me, he, he's, still, he's still talking by the way. Listen, Abdul, are you there? I'm, I'm, I'm not talking. I'm okay, not I, I have I have a question for you, very simple one. You're a prophet, he said, every child is born as a Muslim. Is that correct? That's correct. Which means which mean there's no free will for you to be a Muslim or not. Do you agree? I don't agree. Okay, but he said he's born, you are born as a Muslim, which means you, are, you, don't, you did not choose to be a Muslim then. I want to ask you, if, well, you I, if, I, if a child, means, okay, no problem, you, you can explain to me, no problem. Means. Let me finish my question. If a child he is born as a Muslim and he die, 
let us say a child is born of a Muslim father and Muslim mother and he die as an infant he's like one month old do he go to hell or he go to heaven well according to the hadith he will go to heaven are you sure 100 sure. are you, you sure are you saying that okay let's see when a christian prince he say are you sure that's mean there is something bad is going to happen are you sure yes yes i'm sure are you sure i swear by allah i'm sure buddy are you sure hmm? this is what happened two days ago when we asked the muslim the abdul are you sure he said i know you were going to trick me <laughs> are you sure hey guys this is a new video i just made uh, while you guys are asleep okay because i was playing games with allah download and share around all right very important video let us listen yeah. I will give you 10 years to find me the hadith. <clears throat> All right. What age is this child that died? What? You said if the, if a baby is born and it dies, right? Yes. What, how old is the child? Let's say he's an infant. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let me see it. <coughs> okay, uh, narrated Abu Huraira. This is in Sahih Al Bukhari, book number twenty-three, Hadith three hundred and forty-two. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Prophet Sallallahu said, no Muslim whose three children died will go to the fire. No Muslim whose what? Say again. No Muslim huh? whose three children dies okay. will go to the fire. But this is about the Muslim who is a children die, not, 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 not the child. Give me a hadith about the child, my friend. They're quoting the wrong idea, wrong no story. No Muslim whose three children die my friend a person he have a three children they die he will not go to hell not the children think use your brain no muslim whose three children die yes he have a three you know children he have three children and they die you so. cannot comprehend yourself he have this is, this is, it's a muslim three, it's a muslim uh, this is three uh, times i'm saying this i know you got a uh, uh, english i know you my friend my friend my friend <laughs> No Muslim whose three children die. What the children who die? Who is the children? Three children, right? How many children? So, my, so I'm a Muslim how, many with children? Three how many children? How many children? Yes. Muslim with three children. Right. And they die. No, okay. and they die. Yes. Who is the one who will go to heaven? The children will not be in the fire. No, that's not children. It's the Muslim who have the father. Give me the hadith. I will show it in the screen. Oh man! Give me, give me, the, give me the hadith. Give it to me in the text. I will show it in the screen. Everybody will laugh. You claim sure, I do not know English. Sure, okay, sure. Let's, okay. Let's get, let's get it out. <clears throat> book, book twenty-three. This is Sahih Al Bukhari. Book twenty-three, hadith number three hundred and forty-two. Bukhari. Give me the hadith. Give me the hadith. Give me the, the link. The one you are reading from. Oh, okay, sure. How do I do that? <clears throat> in the text. Click in the text. So I will show it in the screen so people they can see what you are reading. Oh, okay. So I gotta go back to YouTube. <laughs> No, not uh, YouTube, not YouTube, in uh, <coughs> in uh, in Skype. Oh, Skype, okay. All right. Okay, I'm new to this, man. I had to download this app, brother. Why do I do this, man? My friend, you are there. You are in Skype already. Aren't you calling me yeah, in Skype? No. What do I do, though? I mean, I'm like, snapshot. Okay, here we go, here we go. I see it. All right. Here you go. Here you go. Got it. All right, let me see. Narrated Anas Ibn Malik. Hmm. 
Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, so now can you can you uh, read that so everybody can hear you? All right, I'm trying to find it first. Hold on. <clears throat> Just the third one. It's the third one. No, no. I have it in screen, my friend. Oh, all right. Okay, let's see we the screen. All right. The which one? The height number what? Six three seven zero or which one? Uh um uh. It's, uh <laughs> 342. 42. All right, here we go. You guys, read with me. Hmm. Huh? Read with me. Everybody will see it now, what you said. And everybody. Okay, so uh, it's on the big screen? I, yeah, I have it in the front of me in the screen. Everybody can see it. Let us see. Okay, you're going to read it? Sure. Let me zoom in. I'm zooming in just before they can see. All right. Okay. The prophet said, no Muslims whose three children died will go to the fire. Who is the one who will go to the fire? Not the one who his children die. Not the children they will go to heaven. It's in the front of you. You claim that you speak English better than me. Everybody, Man, you guys, just said, you just said you just said some flip mode, brother. You just tried to flip flip it up. In I did not to flip it up. It says no Muslim who is his three, three children died will go to hell. Who is the one? Who is the one who will not go to hell? Is the one who has a children? Three of them die. Okay, look, look. Anybody, but this is not about the children. <laughs> this is not. One, if you think this that, is this is not. Okay, let 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 me let me let me. If you think the pro, if you think the prophet is talking about the man, press one, one guys. Press one. Talking about the children. Press Two, one. Think he's talking press about one. The man. Press one. Here we go. And this is the link. Here we go. In the front of everybody. Come on, y'all. It's right here. here no, I'm posting. I'm posting the link for all of them. Children. Everybody is laughing. You are not being honest. You, you speak English better than me. But yet you are lying in the name of the day. ones. Look at them ones. They go to ones. Come on, man. Come on. You can't play me. You see it? You can't play me, old time. You, you see Come it, on. What you doing, old time? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got love for my elders, man. I got love for my elders, but you just can't play Islam like that, man. My you friend, they are, they are agreeing with me. They are agreeing with me. Do you see how many people are agreeing with me? Not like you. They are agreeing with me. Oh, they agree with me, brother. They agree <laughs> with me. Come on, man. We Abdul, Abdul, the, the jokes hey, everybody, it's recorded. Everybody will laugh at you. And now let me get you busted more. This is your prophet, said in Sahih al Bukhari. Read with me. No, 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 no. no. Read, read with me. Read with me. Everybody will be laughing at you in a second about your lie, especially now you are you are a certified liar. You so gave now, me a hadith. You gave so me a now, you gave me a hadith. Now, you gave me a hadith. Have nothing to do with, with my this. question. Read with me. This is your prophet in Sahih al Bukhari. Go. This is your prophet in Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, saying the following, read with me. He said, this is Sahih Muslim as an example, and this is Sahih, correct hadith. Aisha, 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 shut up, let me read, let me read, everybody will laugh. Aisha, Aisha and Muhammad, they went to a funeral. Do you see the hadith in front of you? Which one, which one, man? It's in the front of us. Do you see it? Uh, okay, let me go to the, let me go back to the screen. Um, hmm. Aisha, the mother of the believers, Okay. Said, after they went to a funeral, read with me the top, the title. The meaning of every child is born in a state of fitra and the ruling of the dead children of believers and of the Muslims. We go down. Aisha, the mother of the believers, said that Allah Messenger was called to lead the funeral of a prayer of a child of Al-Ansar. So he's a Muslim from a Muslim family. She said, Allah Messenger, there is happiness for this child who is a bird from the birds of paradise, for it's commit no sin and nor has reached the age when one commit a sin. So he's very little baby. Mm -hmm. He said, he who, Muhammad, Aisha, her adventure, it may be the otherwise because God created for paradise. Who those who are fit while they are in their father loins, and he created for hell those who are to go to hell. He created them for hell while they were yet in their father lines. So, my friend, your prophet got you busted, and you are certified liar. You said to me that Muslim children they will go to heaven. You quote for me a hadith saying that if a person has a children, three of them they die, 
you claim that the three children will go to heaven that's a lie your prophet saying no nobody knows who is going to go to hell who is going to be a fire of, of heaven because Allah created them when they are in the lions of their father to the hell or to heaven apologize for being a liar mm. I just got to examine this for a minute ah Yeah, this is uh it's uh the fact that the the prophet said it may be you know this is uh this is not actual this is like a theory or, or a, su a supposition <laughs> it's a theory guys it's a theory it's a theory it's a theory is the prophet is making a theory is the prophet is not sure are you saying are you saying it may be it may be yeah it may be here maybe there it may be here maybe there it, be, it, could, it can be it cannot yes be. but perhaps. you are the one who said to me you are the one who said to me a muslim child will go to heaven well, you are the one. The, I just gave you, you the No, no, I you are the, no. You lie to me. You lie to me. You lie to me. You lie to me. In the same time, you claim that the human being have a free will. What is the free will? The child he did not commit sin yet. Why it might be he go to hell? It might be go to heaven if he, he have a free will. What is the free will? The child he did nothing. He did not reach the age of sin. He never commits sin. This whole, this so whole so why so? Deceptive. See this it's hadith is clear. It's not clear because you see this is the reason why you know. And my in my Arabic is I'm not going to call myself a professional. I'm very intermediate, but I, I definitely know that the fact that he's take care, fact, take care, take care. Next time, let your dad call me. Next time, Sayyid Al Mahdi. His name is Sayyid Al Mahdi. Let your dad call me, please. I don't talk to kids. I gave you a chance, and I roasted you. You are a certified liar from now on, and this video is going to be in YouTube forever. Deal with it. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Yes, my friend. How are you, Mr. Abdul? Before I speak, can you not address me as Abdul? Address you as what? Isn't it your name is Muhammad? <laughs> no. So what's your name? The, the Skype it says your name is Muhammad. It says Badr Muhammad. Okay, Badr. How are you, Badr? What do you want to say to us, Mr. Badr? Uh, you said earlier that you get Muslim busted by. Yeah, we just get one. Did you hear it? The guy before you, he's just a fresh. He's honest. not. He's, he's still red. Did you see what happened to the one before you? So, do we get the Muslim busted or not? Yes, I know. Okay, so now what do you want I... to say to us, my friend? Go ahead. I'm listening. I won't ask you about Hadith. Do you, if you know it. Okay. Mm. Do you know this? Okay, go ahead. What about it? <coughs> go ahead. What this about it? says that three people cannot be judged mm. the kid, the insane man, mm. and the sleep. My the friend, one who is asleep. Yeah, my friend, this is about the capital punishment, which means. If somebody commit a crime, let us say uh, a person who is crazy, he used a knife without knowing what the knife would do. He hit you with it. This person, he will not be judged. So if he is a child, you do not know what he is doing. This is about capital punishment in life, in the Sharia law. This is not about the judgment. Day. No, no, no. Prophet Al-Qalam means that God won't punish him. My friend, for it. my friend, don't tell me what it says. This is what it says. Rufi al Qalam, you can go and check your scholars and they will say to you. You go to Ibn Juraj and Al Qasim bin Yazid, he said that this is Al Qalam, it's mean that the punishment of the three kind of people. This is why it says if you are asleep. What does that mean? God will not punish you if you are asleep. Are you are you crazy? This is talking about if something happened, if something happened to you during if if you do something, if, if like uh, uh, there is there is something like uh, uh, let us say uh th there is responsibility for a muslim as a muslim so if you are one of those the responsibility does not go for you yes I understand okay that. so the responsibility here is not about the judgment day because as you see the judgment day even if you are a baby who never committed sin still you might go to hell look here the story in front of okay, us okay. 
Yeah. But so this I know the story. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, so I, what your prophet, my that. my friend, this is why if you go in the same hadith, you will see one of them says, "وَقَدْ زَادَ عَلَيْهِ الْخَرَفِ الْخَرَفِ," which means when you uh, when you became so old and you became uh, unaware of what you say. So if you are in that stage too, there is no qalam on you, which means what is the qalam? Qalam is the law. The qalam means the pen. The pen of what? The pen of the law, the Sharia. Can I ask you one thing before I sure. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, we uh, uh, apply punishment when uh, God will apply it in the afterlife, right? No, there's there is two kind of punishment. There's punishment of Islam on earth, and there's punishment of God in the in the judgment day. Punishment so, of but punishment of of lifetime. This is what supposed the Sharia Allah. This is why even your prophet he says, "Qatiluhum yu'adhibuhum Allahu bi'adikum." Fight them, kill them, so Allah punish them by know, your hand. I know, I okay, know. don't don't come, don't come. You ask me, let me answer you. So kill them, torture them. Allah punish them by your hands. So don't tell me there's a punishment in the judgment. They know Islam believe that when a Muslim he attack me and kill me and torture me, he is doing the punishment of Allah. This is why you Muslims when you shoot somebody, if you join ISIS, I hope soon you say. I did not shoot him. I did not kill him. It was Allah who killed him. So if the punishment is only in the judgment day, then how, you know, how the Quran, all the Quran is speaking about that. So my friend, uh, uh, you try to, I, to, uh, to defend, but you, you have, you have. No, that. no, no. What? No, and that is not my original point. What? You, uh, what is your original point? What? You know, Al-Imam Nawi. Yeah, he's my cousin. Mm. Hmm. And what uh, about him? He, inter he interpreted that hadith hmm. uh, and said that the, the Prophet says, not hmm. say that he will go to uh, to uh, heaven, he might be go the other way, as uh, not to prejudge. What uh, what is going my friend, to my friend, my friend, my friend? No problem. It can be, it can be that if you are a crazy person, should not be judged. But this is the logic. But as you see, a child who never commits sin, he's not a crazy. He's a Muslim. He never did anything wrong. He did not even reach the age of sin. Still, your prophet saying that people created for hellfire when they are in the father and their father lions. So you commit sin, you don't commit sin. This is another reason to go to hell in Islam, which Islam is a stupid religion. And then here, if you go with me, read read, read me the, the chapter I'm reading for you from. Uh, uh, it's not you who slew them it was Allah it is not you who killed them it was Allah why because Allah he punished them by your hand so Islam Islam as a religion believe that there is punishment for those who deserve punishment and who is the one who deserve punishment someone here is he refused to accept Muhammad as a prophet someone he did not pay to Muhammad the money because he's a gang leader Someone she refused to to take off her panty as many women they happened to them that Muhammad he chased them and he raped them Someone he did not pay Muhammad jizya that like the Christian and the Jews so they should be killed He will enslave their, their children Muhammad is a thief. He have no problem to let you even worship any God you wish as long you pay him money And this has proven us that Muhammad cannot be a messenger of God Because if Allah is ordering you to fight the kuffar and fight what fight the kuffar so how you accept the kuffar to stay alive and worship the false god if they pay you money? What is the condition for the Christians to stay alive? Is to pay the jizya. Muhammad, he had no problem if we don't accept him as a prophet and not to worship his god as long we pay him. That is a clear evidence of a theft. He don't care for God. A person who have jealousy for God, he will not accept any compromise and he will not say, okay, you know what? If you pay me, I will let you live. Same time, what kind of justice? You just say to me, if somebody is a crazy, should not be judged, correct? Correct. Okay, so why Muhammad is saying, a child who never commits a sin, he might go to hell. Where is justice? Can I ask you something? I let you speak as hmm. you want. Go ahead. Uh, go to any Muslim scholar and he will tell you that any Muslim mm. who died before the age of consent mm. He will go to heaven. Well, that's me. Muhammad is a liar. Thank you very much guys Did he no. say hold on? No, 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 no. you no, said no, no. you said go to any Muslim scholar. He will go is Muhammad a scholar or not? Can, can I, is Muhammad is Muhammad is Muhammad your prophet a scholar or is an idiot? 
Yeah. If you're a prophet, is if you're a prophet correcting Aisha, Aisha, she said, <laughs> she is happy. She said, this child is a bird in paradise. So Aisha, she thinking like you and me, that it's justice that the child he is a son of Muslims, so he commit no sin, so he will go to heaven. But you just say, mm -hmm. if you go to any scholar, he will say to you, a child who die, he will go to heaven. But this is not what your prophet said. Aisha she says that, and Muhammad he spanked her. He said, are you stupid or what? Don't say that. For nobody knows who is going to go to heaven or go to hell. It might be the otherwise. Otherwise what? She said he will go to heaven. He said otherwise, which means he might go to hell. Why he will go to hell? He explained, for God, which means Allah, he created who will go to hell when they are in the lines of their father. It is not something you earn later. It is something you have already before you are created. The decision already made. So Aisha, she think, I yeah. actually think that because he did not commit sin, he never reached the age of sin, he will go to heaven. Muhammad disagree. Uh, uh, the Qadr does not work like as you said. Okay, my friend, it's not me who said that, it's your prophet. Please let your let your dad call me. I mean, I don't know what, what I can do. How much is stupidity we can we can have? <laughs> Don't call me, don't call me, don't call me. Don't, I don't waste my time. The second you start going around in a circle, I, don't, I have no time. It's clear, everybody is laughing. Everybody is laughing. The other guy, the liar, the liar, he said to us, don't call me, don't force me to, to, force me to block you, please. The other guy, he lied to us. He said the hadith he gave me, it says the one who have his children, three of them die, they will go to he the heaven. The hadith says he will go to heaven. Okay, look like I have I have to block you. Hold on. You force me to do so. Who is next? Who is next? And look how this deceiving people they are. This hadith in the front of you, it's so clear. The guy, the liar, he said this hadith saying that if you have three children of you, I mean, and I mean, even look at the logic, how stupid his logic and his prophet logic. Let us say, for the sake of argument, that Muhammad he is saying what he is saying that if you have three kids, the three kids who die, they will go, or they will go to heaven. I mean, what is the logic of that? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my question. Yes, my friend. I uh, just uh, want to remind you. Uh, I, I'm the guy that uh, just uh, point out that flat Earth uh, topic. Yeah, the answer already. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. But no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to stay with that topic anymore. And I'm going to, but just like stay a little bit what with with the kids in a, in a Islam and all mm. that stuff. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um. Um, now here we notice the most annoying example of people calling me in the wrong time for the wrong topic look what we are talking about and then we have a Christian person who call us to talk about something have nothing to do with our topic which mean by doing that you are giving the Muslim escape from what we reach as a conclusion that's what they do you know somebody decide you want to call it doesn't matter what the topic. I mean, just you want to call. You know, it it fit. It doesn't fit. It doesn't matter. That's it. He want to call. I don't know why they do that. I'm not sure. Don't call me for silly questions, please. Focus in the head of the snake, not on the tail. You see, the Muslims. They would love it if you start crying and the pollution of Islam and the increase in MMI. Who care? Let us let let us bring them all to Christ. This is what we should do. Let us show all those who came to UK the truth and make them Christians. Instead of a crying, bring them to Christ. Be good to them. Invite them to the Lord, and they will come. Just yesterday, I have a person who is from the UK. He's a Pakistani. He became a Christian. And we play his video live on air. 
Is that correct, guys? He's from Pakistan, who served in the British Army, who became a Christian and get baptized, and now he is preaching the gospel. Good for him. Do what you need to do. Stop crying. Why are you are calling me, Sayed? Why are you are calling me? Yes, Sayed. Why are you are calling me, my friend? Yes, uh, yes, Christian. I, I thank you for taking my call again. I, I really, I really wanted to um, just basically ask you uh, one simple question. Mm. You know, when I have, to... I have, I have no answer because you are smart. I am not, as you see. I don't even know English. What I can do now. Well, if I finish you, I apologize. I truly, I truly uh, <laughs> didn't mean to do but that. But let me ask you, be honest with me. The hadith you gave me about the three children, are you serious when you say that the one who will go to heaven is the children, not the father? Th that's what it said verbatimly. No, my friend, it says no Muslim. Read with me. No Muslim who is their three children died will go to fire. Who is the one who will go to fire, will go not to fire? The Muslims who has children, three of them die. You, the hadith says, in English is your first language, correct? Not like mine. Correct. Okay. The hadith is so clear in front of us, says that if a person he have three children, they die for him, he will not go to hellfire. You said they die for him? No, they die. I mean, it is a children. They die. They die. Like you just say, you have a three children, they die maybe in fire or they die in disease or whatever. You have a three children because of that, you as a Muslim, you will not go to hell. That's what it says. And I find that the hadith you gave me is a proving that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because, I, I, you know, you, you, it's, see, this is what I mean. It's like your ability to comprehend is not, it's not. And it's so, it's only like three lines. It's only three lines, not even three. Guys, Christian Prince, he have a problem with the comprehend your ability of a campaign. It's, it's a Peruvian brother that you don't are not smart. Sorry, what I can say. <laughs> your ability of comprehend the Christian Prince. I mean, <laughs> uh, I'm going to sue my dad. You know, I mean, why my dad did not give me ability to comprehend? Because I did earn my intelligence from my dad and my mom. Mostly, mostly it is, uh, I'm going to show them both. Let us see. Three lines, it says, no Muslim whose three children. So now we could just take that right there. Hmm. No Muslim whose three children hmm. died. The children belong so now, to so now, so now, so now there's a, there's, there's a cause and effect. The cause is a man or a Muslim man with three children. Here I go again. Each time a Muslim call me, he call, he said to me, cause and effect, cause and effect. Look like they're stuck with it. Like philosophy, philosophers. Muslims, by the way, uh, Aflatun was a Muslim. Aristotle was a Muslim. All the Greek used to be Muslims. <laughs> philosophers. <laughs> cause and effect. Okay. So now what is the effect? Who is the, the one who died? Is the, who, the is the one, who is the one who died? The three children are dead now. Okay. And who is the one who is the one will go to heaven? The children. The children. No Muslim whose three children die <laughs> will go to the fire. My friend, my friend. So if you're not going to the fire, where are you going? Okay, hold on, hold on. You know, anyone who speak any kind of form of English is going to be love in what you say. You know, I you know, I don't think so. I don't think so, man. You know, I think that anyone who hears me speak and knows that I'm speaking clear and you're okay, reading let the me, same let thing. Let me show I'm you. Reading. Let me let me let me you get your busted nicely. Here we go. The hate in front of me in Arabic. Anyone who speak Arabic a Muslim, please give us a call and I will make you join the conversation and I will make you translate to this person to show him that he have no idea what he's talking about. His English so is how about, fine. How about you show me? Read with me. I'm well. showing you. Here we go. The Arabic in front of me. Are you reading the one that um that you just that you showed previously? The one, no, the one you gave me. Mabin Muslim, Mabin and Nas, Muslim, and you mutu lahu salasa to me in a will. Lam you blue will hunt, illa at Halahu law who jenna at Halahu, not at Halahom. Allah will enter him into heaven. Allah will enter him. And let me show you the translation. Here we go. Read with me. <laughs> All the translation. Who is the one be granted? Send, send me that in the because, text. Because said, of the said, mercy, because, the because of the mercy of his children. Because Allah, he will have mercy because he lost his children. So Can Allah will have it. In the text? No problem. Here we go. I will give you all the links. Here we go. All those hadith are the same hadith you are quoting from. I just want to read the I just want to read it in Arabic like you are reading in Arabic. Do you know Arabic? 
I said I'm an intermediate. I'm just intermediate. Okay, not, no not, problem. Not, not, go ahead. Not, uh, okay, go ahead. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, uh, 342. Look okay, so now, so now the prophet is making it even more clear. He doesn't even use the word hellfire. In uh, in um, ma minanas muslimun yamutu lahu talatat minal waladi lam. Lum is lum is declining. He's declining. It is a negative. Because <laughs> he noticed that the word lum is there. So supposedly he speak Arabic. <laughs> I saw no. I saw the word no there. So did you know? I I understand that word there. No, no. Do you see it? I see it. <laughs> Do you see no? I saw no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, I, I ain't saying I'm the best, brother, but I do know a little something. Mm. Okay, I know no. He's he, he's he's saying that he's he the prophet the prophet is basically giving the license <laughs> for every Muslim to believe that if he has a child and the child is dying to always believe and accept. Did he say? Did he say the prophet is giving a license that everyone has a child dying? <laughs> this prophet is a prophet or he's God? The prophet is giving you a license to go to heaven if you have a children's if you the children they die. <laughs> hey Muhammad, can I get two license, please? Yes, I want to send the uh, uh, I have a friend, he have his two mother-in-law, he's a Muslim. He want to get rid of them. <laughs> send them to heaven, man. The the good news of his child getting Jannah. Okay, wait with me, wait with me, wait with me, my friend. Everybody is laughing at your lies. Sorry, sorry to say, uh, sorry to say, it's in front of you guys. Read with me. This is different translation. Sahih. This is Sahih. The Messenger of Allah said, "There is no Muslim three of whose of of whose children die before reaching the uh, property, but Allah will admit him to paradise." Do you see it now? It's the first, second, and third one because I'm at the second one right now. Hmm. Does which it say? Does read? it say? Which one are you reading? Okay, let me give you the link. So you can read it in Arabic, you can read it in English because your Arabic is fantastic, my friend. I want to learn Arabic from you. Here we go. Uh -huh. Come on, man. Okay. So you apologize for lying. Oh man. I yeah, I require apology, guys. Is that correct? He's lying to us. He he speaks English better than me. He have no excuse to lie. English is not my first language. Okay, what yeah. hadith are we reading, man? It's okay. the same hadith we are reading, the same hadith you gave me, the same exactly the same hadith. The same report. Okay. Okay. Do you know that we we'll admit know? him, not them. Who? How many of the children? The children they die. Three of them. Who is the one will admit to heaven? Is the father of the children? Admit him. Okay. Do you know what that word of means? My friend, just go. Please go. Go. I mean, I, this is why. This is why I don't want to. I. I don't. I, send me somebody he claimed to be a scholar, not a kid. I'm. I'm losing my patience. Sorry. I mean, look at this. I show it in the front of him. This is their translation. This is their website. This is their hadith. This is the hadith he chose for me. And yet he says to me, do you know what this word mean? And do you know what this word mean? I am an Arab person. Are you stupid or what? This is my first language. Do you know what this word mean? No, I do not know what this word. You are the one who do not know the name of your prophet correctly. You are going to teach me. And here we go. I'm showing you your Islamic translation. What's wrong with that? Even your Muslims agree with me. And the funny, the Christian, they say to me, Christian Prince, you need to learn to be patient. Honestly, go, go and see the text. Christian, they say to me, Christian Prince, you should be patient. I stay here for how many hours dealing with this stupidity? And yet you will see a Christian, he's drinking Pepsi Cola. He have his foot in the top of his table. And he, Christian Prince, he starts schooling you. Christian Prince, brother. You are not being patient. You should be nicer, brother. You are right. Go take a vacation for Hawaii and, and teach, teach me about relaxation. All right. We see some Muslims want to call me. Uh, Zubair, you want to call me now? Mr. Zubair. We have a guy, his name is Zubair. Do you want to call me now? Hello, Abdul. Do you hear me? Who is the Muslim want to call me now? So I will open my Skype. Okay, but uh, just tell me, you want to call me now, Zubair? Are you sure? Zubair, are you sure? Do you want to call a friend before you do so? How? 
the guy give him here we go you see this is my account in skype but i'm asking you do you want to call me are you sure should i open my skype for you okay okay i will open skype just for you <clears throat> i hope you will keep your promise and you will call <coughs> All right, my friend. My Skype is open. Give me a call. All right. Hello? Call me, call me, Zubair. I don't have much time. I have four wives waiting for me. Four wives, four mother-in-law, and like 70 kids. I'm an Arab. And I need to train them how to throw rocks at the Israeli. Are you calling me or not? By the way, this is what my family do for, for a living. We go and we buy a house in an area and then we let the kids in the street. Then all the neighbors who they run away, they sell their houses and the price of the houses there became so cheap. We buy all the houses. We move out, the price go up and we make a lot of money. Our kids, they go in the street throwing rocks. Ah, takbir, ah, the neighbor, we broke the window. Your son, he broke my window. He's a kid, what I can do, you know? Hey, Muhammad, you broke the window of the neighbor? Why you do that? See, he's a kid, what we can do, you know? Hey, Zubair, you gave me a headache, you wanna call me, what happened? So all this time, you wanna, wanna call me, you wanna call me, you wanna call me, like, call me. Why you, why you made me open the refrigerator now? You do not know how to call me. Yeah, right. Uh, Abdul, he is using YouTube. He do not know how to call me in Skype. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mamma mia. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Let me help you, Abdul. I will recite Quran for you, and that will help. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Guy, did you hear? Did you hear Muhammad Hijab reciting the Quran? It was unbelievable. What, what an ugly voice. Man. What's wrong with my microphone? Is, is my voice good, guys? I felt like there is something wrong with it. Abdul. The Muslims, they bring somebody, he have a nice voice to recite the Quran, to make it look sound beautiful. But when you bring a donkey reciting the Quran like hijab, it looks disgusting. This is what you do, right? You try to fool people, say the Quran is nice and beautiful. Give a guy who have a nice voice a song about Pupu. Still, is going to come nice because he have a nice voice, right? My voice is beautiful. I know. Yeah, actually, I was, uh, I was, uh, you know, thinking about quitting my career and working in Bosnia as an imam to recite the Quran. Actually, I, I know a guy, an Arab guy, he was in Bosnia, but this is a long time ago. Um, he's an Arab, but he's a Christian. The Muslim, they need somebody to pray for them in the mosque. He was looking for a job. His family, they are not sending him money no more. He is desperate in any job. They told him, if you want, you speak Arabic, right? He said, yeah. He said, if you want, in the mosque, they need somebody to, to pray, to be imam. They have a job of an imam. <laughs> but this guy is an Arabic Christian. They don't know. They don't care. Just to speak in Arabic. So he was leading them in the prayer, you know. Uh, <laughs> He worked for more than six months as an imam of the mosque, <laughs> saying to them, Shish kebab, I mean. <laughs> and the idiot, nobody knows what is, what's going on. Anyway, do we have any Abdul? What happened to that guy who wanna call me? So I opened Skype for what? 
Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you hate me? Do you? Do you? The Muslim answer. We do. Yes, we do. We hate you a lot. We do. Yes, we do. We hate you very, very much. You are really very young. Do you? Muslims, be honest. How much you love me? Wait. Okay, for how long I'm going to wait? Ah, you remind me of a verse in the Quran. The, most, the, the people, they ask Muhammad for a, for, a, for, for a miracle. So Allah said to them, wait and I am waiting with you. <laughs> wait and I am waiting with you. <laughs> what a religion, man. Your God saying, I wait and I'm waiting with you. Hmm? That is something. That's really. Please, brother, sister, leave Zakir Naik alone. Zakir Naik is something. Don't touch Zakir Naik. The second you touch him, you know, right away, the umbrella should be open. Oh, boy. Brother, sister, did the person is asking question? If the prophet of Allah is the prophet, how come he did marry a child? First of all, Aisha, she was not a child as somebody said it. She used to have a big bosom. As an example, look at the bosom. If you go to the Arabia, you will find that the children at the age of six years old, they have a big bosom. So this is proven by the bosom that he is not a child. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. True story. Who can resist the knowledge and the wisdom of Zachar Naik? You cannot. You have to face it. I mean, you have to face it. Aisha, she have a big bosom. May Allah bosom you. Huh? And by Muslims, why why Allah keeps saying me Allah? I mean, He's Allah. He is saying me, <laughs> may your Lord have mercy on you. <laughs> Are you the Lord? <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh boy. Oh mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy, blue. Muhammad, it turned blue. Oh, mommy. By, by the way, it's true. Muhammad turned blue. But when he died, the hadith says, when he died, his nails became green and blue. I'm serious. And even his belly became big and he started farting. Praise be to Allah. Um, you should be a stand-up comedian. But trust me, I can do better than all of them together. Because... You see, once once I attend one of those stand-up comedian, it was for free. This is why I was there actually. <laughs> anyway, so and I, we have no place to go anyway. Like I, I did not go because I like to go, but it was it anyway. So the, the guy he was speaking in the stage and everybody is laughing. And then he says, Look, everybody, he he he, you know, the comedian guy, he said, Everybody is laughing at that that guy. And he he pointed his finger at me. He said, What's wrong? Why you are not laughing? I say because you know I know what you will say next. He said what? I said I know what you will say next, and this is exactly what might make me you know feel he's a comedian because a comedian is somebody he says something you are not expecting, right? Which means he have a special intelligence to say and to make things come in a contradiction of each other. Like suddenly he says something will shock you. I know what he's going to say next. I never heard him before. But I don't find him funny. So, comedy, comedy is what they call people's sense of humor. It has nothing to do with sense of humor as much as a sense of intelligence. And most of the comedy you see, even in TV show, it's very silly and it's very stupid. But people, they are desperate looking for a laugh. And my best comedy is Muhammad. Hello? Do you love me? Do you? Uh, somebody's asking me to marry her now. <laughs> okay, it's time to go. <laughs> Dear, if you are if you are in the age of Khadija and you have a lot of money, I will marry you for sure. As uh, but I have conditions. First, you have to be between the age of ninety five and one ten. You have to have no teeth, no long nails for security reason, <laughs> and you don't get it close to me. Okay, and then I'm fine with that. All right, and don't forget to leave your credit card, uh, 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 make a credit card in the name of Prophet Muhammad so I can go and spend the money. 
Kabich, we have a deal. Unbelievable. Do we have any Abdul? <coughs> hmm. Any Muslim? What, what happened to this guy who wanna call me? Hello? No, I'm not taken by anyone. Thanks God, I am single all the way. All what I need to do, I just back up my stuff and go anywhere I want. This is the best thing I, you know. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And what happened to Abdul? Anyone? Um, can you be nice to an American Muslim? They are more polite. My friend, we as a Christian, we should be nice to everybody. Speaking the truth have nothing to do with being nice. We will be nice to everybody. If a Muslim, if I see a Muslim right now, he is hungry, he is homeless, I will not hesitate to help him. You know, that's not that's not what we do here. We are here fighting Islam. We are not fighting those poor Muslims. Most of them, they have no idea what Islam is about. They are victims. You know, we feel sorry for them. So we are not here to fight Muslims. We are here to help them. Otherwise, you know, Muslims are like us. Hello? Hello, John. How are you? Hello, who? I'm Abdul. Okay, you call me what? Hello, what? Darling? I'm, I'm Abdul. Yeah, but you, what you call me? Hello, what? Actually, I called you for a reason. Oh, uh, okay, okay. What is the reason, my friend? I Go want ahead. to discuss something with you, John. <clears throat> John? Yes, yeah, you call me Abdul. That is why I am calling you John. Okay, okay. You John? He called me John. Or okay. are you history? Okay, okay. Go ahead. Okay, okay, John. <clears throat> so, uh, why do you hate our prophet? My friend, who said I hate him? Then why are you making videos about him? A brother, and about our reason, a brother let, me, let me ask you a question. A prophet who killed everybody, Rape okay, everybody, yeah, but he, steal he the money of everybody. From Allah, that is why he will kill. He have right to kill. Okay. Ah, he have right to kill. Okay, and I have yes. the I, and I have the right to spank him. No, you don't. No, I, Allah told me I have to spank Muhammad. Okay, Allah told you. Yes, okay. Jibreel, he came to me. You know, he looked at my who door. He squeezed, me, he, he, he squeezed me three times, and he said to me, Christian Prince, read. I said, read what? He said, read. I said, read what? He said, read. I, you know, I, I could not read anything. I opened my email and I found an email coming from Allah saying, I want you to spank Muhammad every day. What's your problem? No, you can't because what? that is not written in our Quran. Hey, okay, let, listen, listen. If this is, I cannot. Okay, so, so how you explain, how, how you explain to me if I cannot? If I cannot, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I cannot, how you explain okay, to me? Can, I am doing this every show, day. Can you show the word? Can you show the holy book? Holy book? Which book? Because you told that Allah told you, okay. so you can show that. Okay, here we go. I will show you from the no problem. Order in Quran. Okay. Can you show that order in Quran? Okay, 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 brother. Okay, I like you by the way. Are you a cousin of Zakir Naik? Here you go. Let me show you from the Quran. No problem. Okay, the Quran confirmed that. Let me show you. Hmm? Okay, you should show hold on, that. hold on, hold on. Here we go. The verse in the front of you. I want you to read it. Oh, don't, don't give me a brother, 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 brother. Please behave, brother. Okay. Okay, Brother, okay, the verse, chapter 10, verse number 94. Read it for okay. me. Okay. Read it for me. Okay, I do. I am actually walking on the street right now. That is why I don't have that in video Walk, for in other any Walking so down the street. La, 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 I mean, what does this have to do with walking the street? You are, you are a person who said to me, show me, I'm showing you chapter chapter 10, verse number 94. Okay, let me show you. It says, فَإِن كُنْتَ فِي شَكٍ مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ فَاسْأَلِ الَّذِينَ يَقْرَؤُونَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِ قَالَ فَقَدْ جَاءَكَ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبَّكَ فَلَا تَكُنِنَّ مِنْ مُتِرِي I gave you the verse. Which verse is that? Do you know? Do you, do you, I can do it also. Do you understand the verse I gave you? Do you understand the verse I gave you? Do you understand or no? Christy, can you provide some logical arguments? Brother, yes, I did already. I gave you chapter 10, verse number 94, brother. So can you read it out? Okay, now, let me read it for you, brother. Are you willing to, uh, brother, to uh, to go with me and read with me? Or uh, because you are walking, you cannot read with me. 
So, but you can read. For Here me. we go, brother. It says, if you, if though were in doubt as what we have revealed to thee, then uh, ask those who have been reading the book before thee, and those are the Christian, and I am a Christian prince. Listen. Brother, I did I provide you, brother, yeah, with the reference, brother? Brother, why the Quran, brother, says to Muhammad, why the Quran says to Muhammad, if you have a doubt about what you what we gave to the ego and ask the Christians to provide or spank law prophet Muhammad. What? What is that? Can you provide a verse in Quran? Hmm. Which allowed you or ordered you yes. to spend here, here, Muhammad. here, here, your God saying to Muhammad, if you if you don't believe that you are a prophet, go and ask Christian prince the verse in the front of you. No, I am not a prophet, but you said brother, I, I thought you are the prophet. I mean, I know that you are not a prophet, you are Aisha. This is not the question. You said to me, where in the Quran it says that you can spank the Prophet Muhammad. And the verse here saying to Muhammad, if you are in doubt on what we sent to you, you go and ask Christian prince. Does it say that or I'm lying, brother? Or are you a fool, dumb person? Who brother, 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 let me ask you. Let me ask you, brother. Let me, let me ask you, brother. Let me ask you, brother. Are person you who cannot provide logical arguments? So I, I gave you the logical, it's in the front of you. Why Allah? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Why Allah asking Muhammad? Shut up. Why Allah asking Muhammad? Why Allah asking Muhammad to go and ask the Christians? Why Allah asking Muhammad to go and ask the Christians? If Muhammad is a prophet, why Muhammad need to ask me if he is a prophet already? Why he need to ask me? Allah order him to go and ask the Christians and the Jews if he is a prophet or not. Why he's asking him to do that? And why he Muhammad is, have a doubt about it? Appointed by Allah himself. Who appointed him where? He says here he have a doubt. Don't you see? You're a prophet himself. You don't believe he's a prophet. He says he have a doubt. He have a doubt about himself being a prophet. Don't you see it? Are you are you smart or not? Did, 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 does the verse says that Muhammad have a doubt about himself being a prophet? Ah, so what? Prophet can do anything he wants. To really, do. I have a doubt. If the prophet himself don't believe he's a prophet, so why are we believing him? If he himself don't believe he's a prophet, prophet, prophet believes that he is prophet. Abdu okay. What the prophet? Blah, 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 prophet. If he things. himself, look, Abdul, are you stupid or what? If he himself don't believe he's a prophet, why I should believe in he as a prophet? He himself, don't you see? He yeah. have a doubt yeah. about himself. Yeah. Let me ask you, is it true that yeah. the prophet of Islam, he tried to throw himself from the top of the mountain and each time he tried to throw himself, the angel holding from his pants, he says, don't do it? Yes okay. or no? Brother, yes brother, or no? Brother, 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 and if Muhammad came in my time and I am here, I will make him shish kebab. Nobody have the right to kill anyone, you idiot, filthy liar. Who are you to say he have the right to do so? Who is he? A piece of a scumbag, a thief, a rapist, a killer, a criminal. You Muslims, you worship a criminal. Look at you, how dare you to say he have the right to kill us. What a filthy cult. Hello. Hello. How are you? Christian Prince? Yes. Yes, I have a question. Sure. Yes, my name is Lila. I heard you yesterday speak to Saeed about predestination. Okay. What happened to your voice first? Is that it's your voice? My voice is. Are you making fun of my voice? I don't know. You don't like it? Because it's maybe a fake voice or a mask. I don't no, know. No, this is my real voice. All I right. Swear. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, can we go to Revelation 13 8, please? Yes, go, please. Can you pull it up, please? Okay, you read it for me, please. Okay, one second, please. Uh huh. Hello, hello, it's me. You're looking yes. for it. said, All who dwell on earth will worship him, everyone whose name has not been found in the in the in the in the from the foundation of the world in the book of life mm. the lamb who has been slain 
Mm. Can you tell me where is free will in this passage? The, the, the free will is there because Jesus, he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, no, but the one who set up, let me answer you. You ask Can me the question, me fake lady, fake lady, fake, fake lady, let me answer you. <laughs> Shame on you. You cannot even be a man when you call me. So you make a woman. By the way, you sound good as a woman. You can work as a prostitute. The book of Revelation is speaking that at the end of the day, nobody, nobody can reject him. People, they have a free will, yes, but at the end of the day, every knee will bow down to him. Every knee will worship him. They like it or not. The free will is in life now. There's no free will at the judgment day. Judgment day is a day of judgment. You don't tell the judge, I will go to jail or I will not, I will go free. He is the one who have the decision. You are being stupid like your prophet. We in Christianity, not only we believe in a free will, free will is a must otherwise god is not justice to punish me for something i did not choose to do or not to do and this is why jesus he make it so clear the tree who will not give a good fruit is going to be cut off which means you have to provide good fruit you have a choice to give or not to give it's up to you it's up to you but if you don't give in the judgment day you will be cut off and you will be thrown in hellfire which means free will is about you doing what you do in lifetime but in judgment day there's no free will there's judgment and by the way if your voice like this i feel sorry for your husband <laughs> what is that what happened what, what what are you eating by the way <laughs> And supposedly they brought us something from the book of Revelation. Well, thank you very much for quoting the book of Revelation. You Muslims, you claim that Jesus is not God. Or oh, the whole book there is speaking about Jesus God. Even your Quran, even your prophet confirmed that Jesus is the judge in the judgment day. When Jesus the Christ, he come, every knee will bow down to him. And Muhammad will be brought in the front of Jesus. Jesus, he said to the angels, bring them here. Bring them and slay them. You see? So free will, this is now. There's no free will later. Later there's judgment. Later there's a court. Later there's the holy God is making orders. No mercy no more. You are under the mercy of God as long you are free. Which means in this life. The second your breath is taken from you, that's it. It's over. You wrote yourself in your book what needs to be written. Your book will be sent. And here I'm talking metaphorically, not like Muhammad. Muhammad, he said that everyone in the judgment day, he will have a book in his buttocks. Imagine, guys, God, he will put a flag in the buttocks of every Abdul and in his left hand is his book. You see how they try to fabricate? It's very clear. We don't believe in the free in the, in the free will of Islam, which is not exist, which is fiction. As we, uh, as this guy he said, Allah he chose a victim, and his victim his name is Adam because he wanted to be known. And Allah he made Adam commit sin, and yet Allah asking Adam for forgiveness. That is madness. That is sick. That is disgusting. Our God did not create us to commit sin. Your God does. This is why Muhammad he said to his followers. People, if you don't commit sin and ask Allah for forgiveness, Allah will destroy you and wipe you out and send a new nation who ask, commit sin and ask for forgiveness. So the purpose of your existence is to beg Allah for forgiveness. Otherwise, Allah is unhappy. That means Allah is a seeker. Allah have a mental issue. If you don't commit sin, he will destroy you. You are trying to download the Skype. Oh, okay. Hmm. My friend, if you are using Allah Internet, it's going to take you 10 years. I advise you, uh, there's a Muslim, he used to debate me. He was hacking his neighbor Internet. He said to me, life, he said to me, sorry, my Internet is not good because I'm, 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 uh, 
I don't have internet. So I said, how are you are using? He said, I'm using the neighbor internet. <laughs> halal. It's halal. 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 <clears throat> yeah. There is a, there is a fatwa. A guy he said I I hook up the electricity, the wire, the cable, on the government uh, uh, cable without paying to to heat the water so I can do evolution. The sheikh he said to him, it is not halal to steal. But because you are doing evolution, I guess it's fine. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> what a religion! Tomorrow, inshallah. Tomorrow, when a Muslim he say tomorrow, it's mean next next ten generation. Because Allah says tomorrow. Wait for me. Any Abdul, Mayday, Mayday, last call. Any Abdul. All right. I heard in the Middle East women should be virgin during nikah, so before marriage, they got. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't like people to send me, even if you are speaking against Islam, don't use a bad language when you text me, otherwise, I will block you. I don't care. Don't use a filthy language when you talk to me. Every language we use here is for the purpose of education, but don't speak filthy language Even if you are talking about Muslims, that is not acceptable. I will block you immediately All right uh, Mule he wanna call me Mule where is the mule how a mule he can call CP use bad language? No, I never use bad language. Where? Show me. Okay, I challenge you. I challenge you. Prove me wrong. I never use bad language. Like what? Vagina? It's in the Quran. Your God, he said that he blew his breathing in the vagina of Mary. Whore? The Quran says that you can do higher whore. Just don't force them for prostitution. All the words I use, it is in the Quran. Well, what 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 words I use is bad penis. I can show you your prophet saying that your penis will never go limp. Rabbi, this guy is saying, and you are stupid, my friend. The stupid is the one is your prophet who asked his wives to cover themselves because, because what? <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> oh boy, guys. A blind guy he was coming to visit Muhammad Muhammad he ordered his wives to cover themselves the wives they said to him but he is a blind Muhammad he said yes he is a blind he cannot see you but can't you see him <laughs> <laughs> what covering ourselves have to do with seeing him you idiot huh uh, Abdul, who is the stupid? Tell me. The guy is a blind. Muhammad ordering his wives to wear hijab. Who is the stupid here? Do you want me to show you the hadith? Hello? Hello? Super, super, super intelligence. Super, super, stupidity, tooty. What's wrong with this, Abdul's? A tortilla wajiba ya jahil, ya donkey, Mr. Donkey. What tortilla wajiba? He's a blind, you idiot. He said, We have to cover our wife, you idiot. You, you are the idiot. The guy is a blind. <laughs> Look how smart. I mean, mean. Unbelievable! Today I went. Uh, I went live on air early. 
because some people say to me, we don't, uh, we cannot uh, go live uh, because you are late, like people in Indonesia, etc. All right. <laughs> Oh boy, let us see the hadith. Here we go. Read the hadith and laugh. This is a prophet of God. This is seriously a prophet of God. <laughs> Unbelievable. I was with Messenger of Allah while my Muna was with him. When Ibn Imm Maktoum came, this has happened when we order to observe the veil. The uh, uh, the burqa, the prophet said, "Observe your veil from him." We ask the messenger of Allah, "Isn't he blind?" <laughs> <laughs> super, super, super intelligence, unbelievable. He can neither. Look, look, look. He can neither see us nor recognize us. The prophet said, Are you both blind? Don't you see him? <laughs> ah. But as we know, Muslim women are allowed to see men. So what? So what if they see him? What do you mean? The guy is even cannot even recognize anything. He's blind. What this guy is talking about? How stupid this is! And the guy is not naked. He is coming to his house wearing his clothes, and he is a present. But Muhammad here because he got busted. He was a stupid. All the Muslim women they understood very well what the veil is that they need to cover themselves. Okay, we got it. But why, if we are home and the blind man he came, we need to cover ourselves? Muhammad, after his wife's getting him busted, and they said to him, "But he he's blind." He said to himself, "Oops, that's stupid thing to say." So he said, "Okay, uh, he's a blind, but are you blind?" <laughs> hey, why? Wow, nice. What about you? Call me and show me that God. He go to the bathroom. Can you show me that? I want you to show me the reference. Me, myself, I can show you that your God, you go to the bathroom. You want to do a challenge, Abdul? Do you want to do a challenge, Abdul? Isn't it your prophet who said that your God, he look exactly like the Antichrist? The only difference between them is the eye. The Antichrist is a person who go to the bathroom. Hello? Hello? Who is a Muslim would like to give me a call? Mayday, Mayday. I'm a Christian prince and none of you dare to call me. By the way, I'm thinking to convert and accept Muhammad as my bewitched prophet. <laughs> brother, I wanted to convert to Islam right now, brother. I'm saying Shahada, brother. Okay, brother, say what the Shahada say. I say that there's no God but Allah, which means there's no Allah but Allah. <laughs> and I, I and I accept his, the, the Muhammad as the be, my be, my special bewitch prophet. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> bewitch prophet. The prophet was bewitched. Mashallah, what the heck? A bewitched prophet? Why you are saying to me, shut up? Why you scared me now? Why you are saying, isn't it the hadith says the prophet was bewitched? I challenge you to say, to accuse me of lying. Challenge me, challenge me. Who is the Muslim when I challenge me that I'm lying? Do it. يعني ما عندك جدل غير المسخرة يا أول شنو مسخرة خليته فيها مسخرة امرأة مقعدها لا يساعه ميل من الأرض this guy is saying you have nothing but the mockery you are the one who bring mockery 
isn't it your prophet he said Christians if you don't believe in me I will make you without eyebrows what without eyebrows What what is that? And I will make your nose inside out. M my nose is inside out, and I will make your face flat without eyes. <laughs> and the Christians they went to sleep. They said, "Okay, Muhammad, he threatened us. If we don't believe in him, Allah is going to make our face erased with no details." We woke up in the morning. We we have no eyes. We have no eyebrows. Our nose is inside out, and because we don't believe in Muhammad, but nothing happened. We are waiting for the last fourteen hundred years, my friend. Shrayak, هذه مهمة مسخرة. Huh? Hmm. Any Abdul? My friend, any Muslim can call us, as you see, what I can do. I cannot force people to call me. I mean, if those kids, they don't want to call, what I can do? Right? Ya kafir, ya mal'oon, ya arnab, ya mal'oon. <laughs> if you see the Muslims cursing me in Arabic, you will you will you will you will die laughing. Oh, you call? My money. I call. Give me the number. Give me the Skype. Tabah. Zakir Naik. Do you have a Skype for Zakir Naik so I can call him? Hmm? Who is a Muslim can promise me? To make Zakir Naik open his Skype so I can call him. I will do it right now, right here. Anyone? Uh, okay, well, you, you start speaking about the mother. Wow, that's mean your mother is a bad woman, obviously, prostitute. Because the second you call somebody else mother bad words, it's mean you don't care for your mother. Get lost. I banned you. Anyone he put a mother involved in the conversation insulting somebody it's mean he don't care for her mother as Simple as that because the second you call somebody mother a name It's mean you are asking him to call back your mother name. Why do that? Simply because you are a bad person. You are a filthy person and your mother wasn't a good woman She did not teach her son a good manner Why you want to bring this to your mother your mother she is sitting home She have nothing to do with you and look now you brought an insult to your mother shame on you Any Abdul? So, guys, do you like the idea that from time to time we do it early? What do you think is a good idea? How many of you are here from East Asia? How many of you are from Asia? Hello? Yes, no, 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 yes, yes, me, me, okay, Sweden, okay, so we will, we will do from time to time, we do it li like early, and sometimes we do it late, We you know, just to, for, you know, to give a chance, Marcos, you are from Japan, I want to go to Japan, man, but it's expensive, they invited me actually to go to Japan, a church there, but I calculated my numbers, it's going to cost me a lot of money, You know, <coughs> all right. Any Abdul? Any Abdul here? Come to Indonesia, my friend. If I go to Indonesia, I will not leave alive, they will kill me right away. Oh, what do you think? How many Abdul wait for me in the airport in Indonesia? <laughs> You will find like a million Abdul waiting for me in the airport. 
takbir, jihad, takbir, you know? And Christian Prince, he will say to them right away in the airport, do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you hate me? Do you? Just give me a microphone. Do you hate me? Do you? Do you? And all the Muslim Indonesians say, we hate you. We hate you. We hate you. And then they will act me as the president because they hate me most. Because according to the history of Indonesia, they always elect the most hated person to be a president. So here we go. I go there to visit as a as a tourist, and then I get to be the president. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Allah. Unbelievable. Super smart, intelligent people. Uh, <clears throat> if you are a Muslim, just call me, my friend. If you are a Muslim, just call me. Okay, we have a free line open for you. Allah, he pay for it. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Yes. Hi. Hello? I hear Hello. you. Go ahead. Hello? Yes. How are you? I'm all right. Okay, I am one of the fans. So, and uh, I used to be a Muslim. There was a very good friend of mine. She helped me a lot to get out of this. So, I was listening to you lately, and uh, there's a few things that I was thinking I should discuss. Or in other words, somebody is listening, any Muslim currently, a former Muslim. What I have seen or observed being a member of a Sunni mm -hmm. a Muslim family, okay. what happens uh, in a Muslim family, most of the Islam we learn from our parents or elders. It's very rare that we get a chance to read, uh, go through the Quran or Hadith properly. So maybe this is the very reason uh, we don't know the reality. Because the very moment we're going to start read Hadith or Quran, naturally, truth is something that is uh, going to come along. So all those who basically are listening to you because they hate you, I, being a former Muslim, okay. want to tell them, please go through only the Hadith. Most of your questions, hatred, or any ambiguity in your mind is going to get clear in any way. And thanks a lot, you're doing a great job. Keep doing it. Thank you, Lady. But but uh, since when you left Islam, if you don't mind to say? It's been three months. You can say I was uh, reading all those things. Uh, so you were watching my video? Is it is it because of my videos or something else? Uh, uh, I would uh, love to say uh, this is because of your video, but not. But my friend used to watch your video. Hmm. And... Uh, it's been three months. That's I'm also regular. Uh, what, what about person. what about your faith now? Are you do you you became an atheist? What you became? I'm a Christian. You're a Christian now. Christian. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm happy yeah. for you. Happy for you. That's wonderful. All right. Um, and believe me, it's it's, it's great. It's kind of uh, the kind of peace that I can feel now that was uh, missing somewhere else. Amazing. But that's wonderful. I, I'm quite. I'm feeling quite good now. Happy so thanks for you. a lot. You you keep on doing. It doesn't matter. If somebody hates you. Somebody say whatever they want to say. Let them say you're doing a great job. You see, uh, uh, if people uh, love me, especially they are Muslims, that means there is something wrong with me. You know, this is how I scare myself. Because if somebody following the wrong, uh, wrong person, uh, evil person, and then he says to me, uh, uh, you, "You are good," that means I'm bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm totally so, so, me. so the Muslims, when they get angry from me, it's mean I am on the right track. I'm doing the right thing. This is how I scare myself. This is how I scare anyone. This is the very first. This is the very first. Actually, if somebody is listening to you, and uh, they are being all agitated and they're hitting and angry at you, believe me, this is the very first step. This is what what they are going to do. All right. But uh, if somebody is behaving like this. Sooner or later, they're going to get the truth. So this was the very first reaction of mine as well. But, all right, my uh, sister. It was something that was driving me. So keep on doing. All right. Uh, don't uh, take things as if somebody is hating you. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Take care and God bless you. Good for you. Happy for you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Take care. Take care. Right, you see, you know, people who want to use their brain, 
they think and they find the truth and look now she 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 can tell she she have yeah. different life she have different feelings she have different uh, uh, the way she observed the life around her you know the second you are a Muslim you hate everything around you you are angry you are upset because simply the devil is possessing you you are in the position of the devil you hate everybody everybody's an enemy everybody have a conspiracy against you shaitan have a conspiracy even even your inners is involved in conspiracy you go to the bathroom you have to say a prayer either shaitan he will put a screwdriver in your anus if you don't say the prayer before you have sex shaitan will wrap himself around your penis and he would do your wife if you sneeze if you put you don't put your hand you, you are in danger because shaitan he will piss in your mouth shaitan he sleep in your nose shaitan he pee in your ears muhammad he occupy your brain with conspiracy hello well, hello yes muhammad yeah i want to ask you man stop debating with layman muslim man debating with who layman muslim muslims who don't know anything about their religion okay you are the one who knows everything in religion no 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 i'm not saying as majority of muslims they do not know many things so what uh, where, where i'm going to find those muslims who they are why you don't call the muslims who knows everything to call me shamsi shamsi requested debate with you no coward you no he did not he did not i am the one who requested he's a coward i am the one but who how, made the video how can he, listen listen he never he, he never requested you are a liar i am the one who made the video says to him if you are a man here we go today we will be waiting for you and every day i'm waiting for him you do not need to come to see me. I do not need to go and see him. He can call me in Skype. I can call him in Skype. I will call him. Yeah, yeah, no problem. But he doesn't like your format because of the time difference. That's a lie. I am here. I am in the morning now. What are no, you talking about? In UK, Abdul, UK. Abdul. Ah, no, no, no. Yeah, this is a lie. This is a lie. I, I made a video. Okay. I says name your time. Name your day. Name your time. Name your day. Okay. It's to stop. I don't like stupidity, my friend. They are coward. They will never do it. I, I told Shabir Ali ten years ago. Name your time, name your day. Until now, he could not name it. I told Muhammad Hijab many years ago, name your time, near your day. Until now, he could not do it. You Muslims you don't only, dare. But, 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 but shut up, shut up. Don't tell me. Bring them. Don't complain. I am here. My Skype is open. Anyone can call me. I never say no to anyone to call me. Just call. Why we need to set up a date? Get me busted. Why they need to be prepared? Because simply they are false. They are potatoes. I never saw any of them have a live broadcast, have a Skype open for people to call. Do you know why? Because they cannot do it. Who of them is going is willing to open his broadcast? And I will call him. Is that fair, guys? I will call starting from Zakir Naik. I'm not going to count Shamsi. Shamsi, this guy is a kid. He don't even have high school. Who's Shamsi? I named them. I named them just to show people that they are, they, how small they are. I would love to have Muhammad Hijab because he's hilarious. <laughs> Allah, he pray for, not pray to. Don't call me. Don't call me. Don't don't, don't call me and cry for for a debate. I'm waiting for a debate. I'm here for it. Don't complain. I'm here every day. Have you ever seen everybody go? Any one of those people who claim to be debating going every day, every day for many hours waiting for a Muslim to call, and then when you call me, you complain. Why you don't debate the one who knows? Who is the one who knows? Muhammad Hijab. Or this donkey Shamsi who said the stupid things. He said that Jesus is a pastor. Do you want me to show you the video? Go and watch his video. When the fact in the Quran, Jesus' mother, she was accused to be a whore. In the Quran. Do he do there? Do we have any Abdul? No Shamshi, no Muhammadi Hijabi for 4,000 years. 4,000 years, not a single Jew or Rabbi believe in the Trinity. He forgot the Quran, the idiot. This guy is a priceless treasure for us as a Christians. This debate, this debate he made, this is why this guy disappeared.
You see, when this guy he debated with David with the Muslim, they thought that this guy he brought victory. After after the debate is finished and the snow is gone, people they start noticing what much poo poo he did. How much poo poo everything he said in the debate is a poo poo. And this is why he will never ever dare to debate me because I'm going to use what he said in that debate. What he said in that debate alone is enough to make Islam shish kebab. Uh, aren't you behind your computer, Arabian prophet, idiot? Get lost. Look who's, look who's talking. You are behind the computer and you are hiding. <laughs> yeah, Abdul, I'm using YouTube. I have to be behind my computer. What a donkey you are. Alhamdulillah, how smart you are, brother. Arranged a translator. This guy, he need a translator. He's typing for me in English, but he need a translator. I mean, what's wrong with those Muslims? They are blaming me for being behind the computer, but I am a person using YouTube. What do you want me to be in the front? By the way, I'm not behind the computer. I'm in front of the computer. You are stupid now. You have to switch position. Don't do what Allah do. Allah, the author of the Quran, always he, he forget to switch position. So he say, it is he who created the earth and the heaven. Abdul, if you are Allah, how you say it is he who created the heaven? You should say it's I. Unbelievable. Switch position. Don't say to me you are behind the computer. I am not behind the computer. I am in the front of the computer. Learn, learn. Don't do what the, the same mistake Muhammad he did in the Quran. What is the view? I, my friend, I don't have a view of anyone. Everybody, he do his poo, poo you know, and then people will poo, poo at him. Your intelligence will speed you. Do we have Abdul? Don't let them stress me. I am stress afraid. You know? Because for a very simple reason, by the way, we are very Arab. Arab, we are Arab. We have no stress in our life. Our our country is like heaven. First of all, we never pay for electricity because we don't have electricity. You see, I mean, this is number one, stress free. We don't pay for cable because we got no cable. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful. Uh, we don't pay for garbage. The garbage stay in the street. It's wonderful. I mean, that's it. We go the bills. Is, there's no bills. You don't pay tax. Who pay tax there? Nobody pay tax. It is a stress-free country. The only thing you need to be aware of, don't leave your shoes in the front of your door. The second you leave it there, is even in front of the mosque, they will take it. Go and watch on YouTube, stealing shoes in the mosque. This is number one business in the Middle East. You can, by the way, this is something you have to graduate. It's not like something easy. You have to learn. There's a profession. There's a certified a certificate to earn. You go to college to it. Go right now to YouTube and search for the stealing shoes from the front of the mosque. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not joking. The burqa is number one way of theft. A woman, she go inside the store and she starts inserting things. She have shelves under the burqa, literally shelves, shelves. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, joking. They, they wear the clothes under the, the burqa, which contain big pockets. So she started grabbing things. She put it under the burqa, and the guy, you know, he cannot check her out. She's a woman, you know. Don't touch me, you know. And she get away with the with the with the theft. Go and watch on YouTube. They come as a family. They steal watches. They steal etc. They bring a child with them, and the child supports. He start playing. He's a trained child. He go behind the counter. He grab a watch. He grab a, a jewelry. He grab a ring. He grab whatever he can grab. Abdul, this Abdul, he's saying to me, I am a monkey. My friend, according to Islam, monkeys are Muslim. Let me show you. And they practice Sharia law, which means, obviously, you don't, you can, you have no right to call me a monkey because in order to be a monkey, I have to be a Muslim. Read with me. Please read with me, read me with Abdul. Here there's a story about a monkey. She committed adultery. What a filthy monkey. What a filthy Muslim. How dare you? How dare you to do so? If you guys read the story, if you have my book, by the way, Sex and Allah, you will see the story there with details. Simply, this monkey, female monkey, there is a very handsome monkey. 
he came like the Japans, you know, with red ass. So, like he said, oh, 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 you know, and he have a big banana in his hand. The female, she was according to the Muslim story. I'm not adding a word. Her husband, Mr. Chapanzi, was sleeping in her arm. Look how romantic. But look at this filthy, bad woman. The other guy was behind the tree and he was showing her the big banana he have. And I'm talking about the banana, real banana now. <laughs> Don't take me wrong. And then she moved her hand from under the head of her husband. And she went behind the tree and she did bang, bang, boog, boog. <laughs> you know? Monkey stuff, monkey business. And then she finished, nobody noticed her. But when she finished, she came back and she inserted her hand under the head of her husband. But look what happened. Allah, all, all knowledgeable. Her husband, he started sniffing her, uh, you know. <laughs> what the heck? What is that? He smells sperm. He starts screaming, ah, 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 and all the monkeys came. All the monkeys came. And they took the female monkey to the Sharia law court and they decide to stone Hello? her. Yes, Muhammad. Yes, Habibi. How are you? Uh, did you respond to the allegations that the Bible is the most evil book, uh, according to Shams? Well, he can say whatever he wants. Can he call me and read for me what is evil about it? He don't dare. No, but he quoted the passages. My friend, I, I, I got him busted. I made many videos. Don't you watch? Give me one of no, them. No. Give me one of them. So, Give me one of them. Give me one of them. The one that he, uh, the, he will cut the hand of the woman who touched her husband. Okay, so, so you Muslims are saying, and Shamsi is saying, I want you to carry this message to him. He is saying that if you have a fight with a Christian prince, he have no problem if his wife, she hold my balls. Is that right? No, no, the wife. Don't tell me, no, 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 no. Yeah, this is the, the story. He said, I heard, I saw him in the video. He said, yeah, yeah. brother, sister, brother, sister. Oh, shut, shut up, shut up. Brother, sisters, brother, sisters. Imagine you have a fight with the man, and then your wife, she want to defend you. She want to protect you. She hold the balls of somebody else. You cut her hand. So you Muslims, you have no problem that a Muslim, the wife of Shamsi, if she is fighting with me, his wife, she will join the fight and she will hold my balls. Say yes. I don't be, 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 say yes. No, no, no. Be, 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 say, say yes. No, say no. Don't, no, don't say no. No. You see, in a second, you coward. You change your mind. A second ago, no, no, no. it was, it was evil. Now you are saying, you are saying that you Muslims, you, you're Muslim. You have no dignity. It's okay for your wife to have the balls of somebody else. Like Shamsi is fighting with hijab. Hijab, he have big balls. So Shamsi wife, she joined the fight and she hold the balls of hijab. And hijab says, leave my balls, leave my balls. And this is, uh, shut up, idiot. You don't dare to call me. This is why he don't dare. He knew that he would be humiliated. The same as you did right now. The Jews, they have dignity. You don't. Because what kind of a woman, she join a fight, and what she hold of the man, she hold his balls. What they are talking there about is a fair fight between two men. Why the woman is involved anyway? And what kind of a woman she is going to hold the balls of a man? What about she put her mouth there? But you Muslims, you claim that it's okay. I don't understand. You Muslims, even your prophet, he ordered your wife to give her boobs. So if Muhammad Hijab, he want to visit Mr. Shamsi, Shamsi wife, she have to give her boobs to Muhammad Hijab and he have to suck her nipples 10 times. No wonder you are wondering why the Jews have dignity and you don't have dignity. You don't mind that your wife holding the balls of a stranger with no dignity, with no honor, because you are practicing filth. You do muta marriage. You hire women for one night or three hours stand. You do have sex with the children. Your wife, she give her boobs, but she is not allowed to shake hands. Be careful. And now you are telling me that your Muslims have no problem that your wife, she will hold the balls of somebody. I'm sure there's many, many people, they are lined up now to fight with Shamsi. And they, are, they have a condition. Shamsi, I will fight with you only, only, only if your wife will join the fight and hold the... <laughs> Unbelievable. Shamsi, Shamsi, they want to fight you. There is a long line of men waiting for you. Don't forget, please, to bring your wife. Shame on Muhammad. Shame on you.
Shamsi, Shamsi, where are you? Everybody laughing at you. You Muslims you really lost your mind. You are a stupid. Unbelievable. Should I make a song now? As an example, the brother, the Bible says the Old Testament for women. I mean, how stupid you are even to open that topic. You have a low IQ and you are no match. You see, I can leave my toes behind the microphone and I go and take a shower and my toes can debate you. And you will be scared of my toes. Or what I need to do to my toes, I will I will draw two eyes and one mouth on my toes. And you will be terrified of what my toes will say. I will toes you with my toes. It's a toesy toes. Unbelievable. You know, I used to go in Pal Talk before, as you know. The Muslim room will be snoring. Everybody, there's nothing, nobody. The second they see my name, the room start to grow in chat room. Like, the, like they have like, let's say 40 people and they are almost saying nothing and nobody is talking. The second they see my name, the room will become like 100, 150. And they invite everybody and everybody became an admin. Admin, which means control to give a dot and to bounce and to ban people. They get terrified. The guy in the in the microphone, he will be talking. Okay, guys, the Prophet is this is that a Christian prince? Christian prince is here. He's... Brother, brother, sister, uh, this is this is, is that the Christian prince? Is, is that is, yeah? I say yeah. It's me. <laughs> the second they see my name entering the chat room. They start in an earthquake is happening. Once I remember, once we went to a chat room, big chat room in Palto. There's a guy, his name is Dr. Tahruni. I remember his name because it was funny what happened that day. So I put my hand up and I said, I'm here to debate you if you don't mind. I'm a Christian. He said, Sure, sure, sure. He said, Okay, brother and sister, tell everybody, tell everybody they have a big chat room. And then he started receiving text, you know, in the chat. Brother, this is a Christian prince. Brother, 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 read the text, brother. This is a Christian prince. Brother, 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 br brother. And then I hear him in the in the keyboard, you know, like he's texting. The, 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 the keyboard is going crazy. And then he said to me, I've been advised by the brother that it's better if me and you, you know, debate by email. What? By what? <laughs> A second ago, he was so excited. He wanted to debate me, and no problem. Invite your friends, but they told him, "This is you have no idea. This is a Christian prince, brother." You know. And then, and then a, a girl she put her hand up. She's a, she's a Christian. Uh, she said, uh, 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 "He told her, okay, take the mic." But her name is a, she's a girl, so she took the mic to talk. And then he gave her a dot. He said, "Women are not allowed to talk in our room." <laughs> <laughs> so why you give her the mic you read her name her name is girl <laughs> he called her okay sister take the mic the second she started talking she he said to her you cannot talk in, uh, in, our, in our room women are not allowed to talk <laughs> unbelievable they are super super intelligent I mean, the best thing in the world is to be a Muslim, brother. Brother Tata, I will give you an example of being intelligent and super smart. I have an example. Imagine you have a person, his name is the Christian Prince, it coming to your chat room. How you can deal with him? First of all, if he said to you, the Prophet was good, don't say yes, because he will trick you. If he said to you, the Prophet was bad, don't say no, because he will trick you. So the best way, brother, to debate with the Christian prince is not to say yes and not to say no, because whatever you say is going to trick you. Thank you very much. And by the way, I'm not making things up. This is something the Muslim, they wrote an article about me. When you debate a Christian prince, don't ever say yes, even if you say the prophet is a good man, because there is something to follow. Don't say yes, don't say no. Terror.
It is a terror day. Halloween, 24 hours, 7 days a week with the Christian Prince. Unbelievable. All right, do we have any Muslim here? Hello? God bless you, brother. I, I apologize if people say to me, hi, CP, etc. As you see, I'm concentrating on many things. I, I'm worried about this monkey now. What happened to this monkey? During the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, supposedly the, the Arab before Islam, they were ignorant, and they became smart after Islam. <laughs> I love it when the Muslim they say that before Islam, it was the period of ignorance. Ignorance. Muhammad was working for Khadija. She was a businesswoman before Islam, the period of ignorance. Before Islam, women, they were queens and they are leaders of nations. Before Islam, women, they make poetry. Before Islam, women, they, they, they stop war. There's a woman, Muhammad, he killed her, her name, Amukurfa. She stopped a war between two tribes, two huge tribes, just by putting, putting her scarf. This is how much they respect her. Guys, imagine. There's two tribes, two Arab tribes, they are going to war, and they are lined up in the front of each other. This woman in Muqurfa, she was very honorable to the point everybody respect her. So look what she did. She took her scarf and she put it between the two army. And she said, the one who will cross this scarf first is the one who disrespect me. Everybody went home. You see how wise, how wonderful this woman is? Muhammad, he killed her by cutting her two pieces. He tied her legs to two camels. And he forced the camels to run in two different right directions and he split her two pieces alive. And then he raped his daughter. And look at this madness here. During the pre Islamic period of ignorance, I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. <laughs> okay, true story. They were a stone in it. Because she had committed illegal sexual intercourse, and I too stoned her with them. <laughs> I believe you. This is a true story. <laughs> Even monkeys are Muslims. True story. I mean, come on. Don't you see? Uh, have, haven't you seen uh, monkeys uh, throw a coconut at each other? So, for the Mutul Masihiyah, my friend, it's the, what happened in the opposite. Don't you see? A lot of ex-Muslims and Islam is dying. Just last week in Tunisia, in Tunisia, they stopped the Islamic law forever. Right now, a Muslim woman. And a Muslim man in Tunisia, they have the right to marry in a civil marriage, not in a Sharia court. A Muslim woman, she is allowed to inherit equally to a Muslim man. A Muslim woman, she is not under the control of a man no more because Sharia law is gone from Tunisia. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. If you want to talk about Islamic existence, my friend, did you hear about now in, in Kuwait? They are voting to allow Kuwaiti people to convert to Christianity, and yes, it is happening because they knew that there's no future with Islam. So Kuwait is going to turn to Christ very soon, and there's now many churches in Kuwait, and now it is legally they are voting for that. I hope soon the decision will be made that a, a, a Kuwaiti person can be Christian. Did you hear that the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia he met with the with many leaders from USA? Christian leaders, Christian ministers to open churches in Saudi Arabia. The Middle East, my friend, is going to have a new, new life. Just wait. Because of the internet and because Muslims, they notice that Islam is nothing but the deception and stupidity. Because they are getting more education, Many people they start noticing what versions, what endless penis, what stupid is that cult is. Because of ISIS, people they start seeing the true face of Islam. Not Islam, just wake wearing a, wearing a hijab. This is not Islam. Wearing hijab is not Islam. Doing fasting in Ramadan, this is not Islam. This is have nothing to do with Islam. This is the leftover. 
the true Islam is Al Qaeda and ISIS and people they saw that and the Muslims are the first to see this is why when ISIS are kicked out in any city in Syria or Iraq the women the first thing they do they take off their hijab and they dance in the street from happiness go and watch the videos men right away they shave their beard because people don't don't believe they were forced to Islam is collapsing my friend is not what you think and we have a great brothers who they are teaching in Arabic to millions of Muslims every day in TV showing them what false about this cult and look at you who dare to call me you are afraid that if you call me I will make you like this monkey <coughs> hello 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 yes yes I have a question for you I have a question for you hello yes yes uh, oh. yeah, my mom used to be a uh, Muslim. Okay. And yeah, I would just want to know: Do you read Arabic Christian Bible? Mm, no, I don't read really. it. I do not need it. Why? Uh, because I just want to ask the word of hypocrites. Is it the same exact words that they use in Arabic uh, Quran? I mean. Um, you know, the, the Quran is not a new language. The Quran is just using the Arabic language which exists before. It's not It's not the Quran who created Arabic. You know, the Arab are speaking Arabic long before Muhammad exists. So, yeah, it's going I to see. be the same. But but every every word, like, you know, in Arabic, Arabic is a kind of a rich language. So you can find many words for the same meaning. Okay. You know what I mean? Just, just for the... This, the word hypocrites. What is the Arabic? Depend. Uh, there is, uh, you know, we can say uh, many, many, like, you know, we say, munafiq, um, uh, um, you know, there is many. Kadab. Munafiq. Is it munafiq? Is it munafiq? Is yeah, munafiq is someone is doing it. Christian it, Bible? It, we don't need to use a certain word, as, as I said, because this is depend on the, uh, in the sentence itself. Ah, I see. Yeah. Okay. So, like, like you know, in, uh, in the in the Bible, we use the word murai, murai, which means someone who makes things. Um, he like to show off, you know, uh, but he don't okay. mean it, murai. We don't use really the word nifaq, murai. Like uh, you know, uh, if you remember, I don't know if you know the Bible. Uh, mm. Jesus speak about those who pray in the corners. So he said, "Don't yes, be yes, like yes. the muraun, the the one, the murain, the one who pray in the corners." Because if they do that, if you do that like them, you don't have the blessing of the of the Lord, right? So if you want to yeah. pray, you go and pray inside your closet. So here we see the word is murai. Murai, the Quran, the, you know, use the word munafiq. Okay, so it basically it has the same meaning. Yeah, it's not really the word is not important because the the Arabic Bible you are talking about is not an it's not a Bible; it's a translation. Okay, because there's no okay, Arabic, okay. there's no Arabic Bible. Any like you see, any any book written other than the Aramaic, the Hebrew, and the mm -hmm. Greek is not a Bible. It is a translation of the Bible. Okay, you know I see. I mean? All right. So it's translator, just, just... translator, he mm -hmm. can use whatever word. As an example, the Muslim they will say to you that in the Arabic Bible, the Christian there they are using the word Allah. Yeah, but I don't believe in Allah. So how they use the word Allah? Because they are under the occupation of Islam for more than 1400 years. Who dare to say a different word? But I don't accept it. It's false. It's a false translation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. All right, just, my friend. Uh, it's just out of my curiosity. All know? right. Thank you very thanks much. Thanks a lot. Okay. I, God bless. Yeah, okay. I thought he was a Muslim. Too bad. Too bad, too good. Any Abdul? If you call me, guys, just say hello, hi, right away, start. Don't wait. I mean, hello? Yes, hello. 
just say whatever you want to say any Muslim <clears throat> try to improve yourself a good knowledge person but actually my friend the, the the knowledge person is you why you don't call us and teach us yeah my friend Muhammad Reed I'm going to be a Muslim and I'm going to have your wife in the heaven is that true that I can have your wife uh, your wife and your mother in the heaven Muhammad Reed I'm not insulting by the way according to the Quran I can have in the heaven of Islam whatever I wish what if I go and I want to have your sister your wife and the and the wife of Muhammad what kind of God he says whatever you wish do you know how dangerous that is? Hmm? How stupid it is to promise me to have whatever I wish. What if somebody is a gay? What if somebody have would like to have bang bang with Muhammad? How you can keep your promise by saying whatever you wish? Any Muslim can answer? Are you sure that Allah will give you whatever you wish? Stupidity. Any Abdul? Obviously, Muhammad, he don't care because he knew that there's no heaven for him. He knew that none of them, they will go to heaven. He's fooling them. Don't worry, you will get whatever you wish there. Even they ask him, are we going to have horses and camels in heaven? <laughs> he promised them that you have a horse from Ruby. Horse from Ruby? What? <laughs> oh boy. A horse from Ruby? Are you sure? Me. Oh, how he is alive, but he is made it from Ruby. Any Muslim? Let me show you. So Muslim will not say we are making things making things up. I hope we can find it in our in English. All right. Read with me. Here we go. Suleiman say to etc etc the oh messenger of allah are there horses in paradise he said which means muhammad if allah admit you into paradise you will not wish to be carried on what a horse of ruby that will fly with you <laughs> <laughs> this is a flying horse made of rubies he fly with you whenever you want in paradise taxi taxi ruby horse yes i am uber horse uber 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 uh, ruby <laughs> i mean truly 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 i am convinced that islam is a true religion and obviously Muhammad is not making fun of our brain and there is a ruby horse waiting for us in the heaven he worked as taxi for Uber you believe in this garbage you Muslim you will get a ruby horse brother Tatar somebody ask me what kind of communication and what kind of a transportation we are going to govern heaven brother let me give you the good news in the heaven, you will not wait for taxi, and you will not need an airplane. Everything is for free. Allah will provide you with a special kind of horse made from ruby, very beautiful ruby. You dump in the top of the horse, and he fly with you. As an example, 
You live in Pakistan. You want to visit your cousin in Bangladesh. You do not need to go to search for a ticket. You jump in the horse, which is made from ruby, and you fly with you. And it's very fat. And there is no need for fuel or battery things. Thank you very much. Stupidity is amazing. You have to be certified donkey to believe in this garbage. Let me make it more clear. You have to be certified mule. <clears throat> A PhD in stupidity. This is God and this is religion and this is heaven. A horse from Ruby. Where are you gonna where are you gonna go, brother? Where do you wanna go with the horse of Ruby? What do you wanna do exactly? <laughs> Ah. <coughs> oh boy please debate Zachary Naik well he, he, they will not be able to debate me what I can do I'm here and bring him to me challenge him go guys ask him where are where are where are you where are you you know what we can do bad boys bad boys what you gonna do when I come for you? I don't blame them if they don't, because they knew that they are no match. They are no match. I will not even debate myself. I will lose. I'm telling you. I will lose. All right, guys. I think we have enough for today. And as you see, I did it early morning, so you guys can join us. Now I wanna I wanna people to leave for me in the comment there down in the video. Let us see how many of you really prefer the early time, uh, so we can see how often we do it. You know, maybe we do it twice or three times a week. Like we make it three times a week um, afternoon and three time in the morning, so we can see. And which one is the better? Like, a, was it too early today? Was it too early? Should I like wait until now, or what do you think? Let me know, please. So uh, we can find this is too early, okay. So maybe we may we delay it like maybe and maybe two hours, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I hope we did not hurt the feeling of many people. But if I hurt my your feeling, please go and hit the first pharmacy and ask Allah for healing. For Allah, He have all the medication you need. He have camel urine. He have honey, and he have flying ruby horse. He have a lot of things to help you with. Just ask him, and he will be there for you. But don't forget to buy some ajwa, because the prophet, he spoke of ajwa. If you eat seven ajwa, is going to fight any kind of magic and any kind of poison. So if Muslim, they say to you, Christian Prince teaching is poisoning, well, you need to eat ajwa. If somebody says to you, too late, my friend, too late, we are done. If somebody says to you that Christian Prince is putting magic in people to leave Islam, then you need Ajwa. Ajwa is the best solution prescribed by the Prophet of Allah, by the advice of Allah Himself. And as you know, Allah knows best. Don't forget to take honey when you have diabetes because it doesn't matter. Even if you have diabetes, still Allah. Is going to help you with the honey. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is a stupid and funny made by the man for the stupid man. Thank you. <laughs>